That being said. 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 Hello, hello. This is Phil. Phil Burnett. All right. And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said. Big ups. That being said. Which vest is podcast vest? That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T. Insight. The legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Sneak to the dead. Psychological style of host. Me or cat. Artistic style host. Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? Jesus, man! What a show! Uh, you can't say that. You can really can't say that, dude. Okay, okay. For the I won't, I won't. I'm Cut sorry. that. That joke's not gonna work. Not gonna work in the future. We got a hell of a show here for you. We got so many legends here. It's gonna take me a while to get through them, but I'm gonna get through them as fast as I can. We first we got the musical style legend Meerkat. Go ahead. Um. Yes. <laughs> Logical style host. Go. No laughs today. Good idea. Wizard of Oz style host, secret musical style host. Go ahead. Burger. <laughs> and two, count them, two legends from the community. We got one hell of a show. We're going to try to get it in, to, you know, the time allotted here. We'll see what we can do. Dark Seed, DeFill, return guest. I think our first three, three, three time guest on the show ever. Dark Seed, how do you feel about that uh, That epic, epic title you can now state in your Twitter profile? Uh, well, since I've had it since the last time I was on, I love it. It's four, four, <laughs> four. But uh, thank you for having me. Excuse me, four piece of furniture around here soon. Go ahead, Steve. I, I was Steve. That's Steve true. was on the oh, Steve, Steve was a two time guest, and then he was on the one K special as well. So get fucked. All right. Let's get All that history is wiped away. <laughs> Forget about it. Finally, a first time appearance for someone that is probably after Tevin, of course, because everyone has to have Tevin. After Tevin, the first most requested guest ever. With well, that being said, Duty Streams. How you feeling, my friend? Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for having me on. By the way, I did change my nap time to be on this show, so <laughs> please bear with me if I slur a few words or sound sleepy. My apologies. Yes, and keep in mind that Duty is a little bit older than me. So if you make fun of my age, you're making fun of Duty's age double. So just keep that in mind. I'm not taking it anymore. Okay, I've had it up to here with that. But anyways, let's get to the nonsense of the week. We do have an art contest going on right now, and the vote is open as we speak. Dark, so you are tasked now with explaining the art contest in a, in a minute or less. Go. Yeah, so the art contest is everybody coming together to make this really awesome figure of characters that we've come up with for uh, here in the Vortex. I'm going to sculpt that character 3D style. We're going to send those print files off to It's a Gundam, who is going to print them and paint them. Then we are going to put that shit up on eBay, sell it, and give all the money to Jasper's Angels. Suck it. <laughs> That's, that's part of the optional DLC yes. content. Uh, by the way, do we want to? I guess maybe we can do it later. Maybe we can uh, pin the, the the link to the voting when we get to that point. Just a yes, thought. please do that. Somebody, somebody, production style side of things, Sam. Please pin that. Okay. Cool. 
No, could someone else do it actually? <laughs> like I said, it late, you know, I'm taking over the show now. Later, yes. later, fuck it. Yes, okay, we'll do it. Hold on, we'll get to that. We'll get you to the vote. But if you haven't voted that, please go and vote for your favorite. This is going to be sent do, for first of dark sleeves that are printed out 3D style, like you said, and then the legendary Gundam is going to paint it. And then we're going to eBay it off and see how much money we can raise for charity Jasper's Angels. It's going to be pretty hype. We got 50. How many, how many entries do we have now, Darcy? 54. 54. 54. Lit it definitely twice twice as much as I expected. So this has been great. That's, yeah, 50 is a lot. I just like mm -hmm. the Chicken of the Ring. We're like, maybe, remember we talked about literally, like, we might get 20 songs, guys. <laughs> we end up with like more than 50 there. And then we got 50 here. And it's incredible. So awesome yeah. stuff here. We're going to share the top voters. We're going to go over those. Closer to the end of the show, we're going to go through that and make our decision here. Of course, the final judgment is going to be from us. We're going to look at the top four vote getters, make a talk about it, discuss it, logical style, and then make our best judgment on that. So we do have duty in the house and duty. Since you are a new guest, you have to ask, we have to ask you the same question we always do. How did you get into all this nonsense, my friend? Oh, geez. Uh, it started as a Wings of Redemption detractor. So I used to watch uh, Wings of Redemption, follow the whole uh, surgery arc and so on. And then I used to follow Phil mostly from a, you know, uh, kind of a background, just used to watch his explosions and his uh, past hateful slurs and those type of things. I really got into uh, the DSP uh, vortex after he uh, lost his uh, Twitch affiliation. That's mm -hmm. kind of when I got in there and really ramped up uh, watching of DSP and just following him and doing content. Okay. So then I guess you could say, if you now you've seen them both, what is about the DSP that makes it more interesting to you? Oh, geez. It's, it's uh, wings. It, wings is just, you know, he, he's just wings. I mean, he sits there, he plays video games and he gets triggered by people. DSP is a totally different animal from, you know, the, the bank leaks to the hateful slurs to him losing his partnerships from the detractor sphere. It's just so it, it's, it's like a, it, it's like wings is planet earth. And, and DSP is like, you know, the Milky Way, the whole galaxy. So there's just so much to delve into. So that, 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 that's what makes the two different. And I find DSP to be more interesting than, and then actually wings. Mm -hmm. I don't, oh yeah, that's true. It's harmful slurs now, please. He does yes, it. The interview, he said harmful slurs. He's slowly <laughs> massaging that word till it just becomes like happy, happy, friendly words. <laughs> <laughs> saying compliments <laughs> flowery language they got rid of me for flowery language unhappy <laughs> unhappy words so it'll yeah, be yeah. hopeful so, slurs. Like. <laughs> yeah that's the new <laughs> thing we were hopeful so what made you make the jump duty though from just watching it and saying wow this is insane to making to putting the videos out like you do the main jump i guess was just how much content that was there just how how easily this man was triggered like that was the one thing that i really noticed how easily he was triggered about everything and then you know i i knew about the helicopter company the best buy all you know all, his whole lore and how he just continuously brings it up and the one thing is how he retcons everything depending on the situation and i found that interesting and i kept saying to myself why is he keep why does he not know that people have the internet and go back and and actually look at videos and hear what he had to say or what he said. And that's kind of what got me into it. So I started doing content. That was my content was just following his gameplays, following his, uh, his, his videos. But then the big thing for me was just his, how he, 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 he just, you know, b depending on the stream and the situation, he changes, uh, you know, what he previously said. So that that kind of got me more into the whole DSP sphere. Again, Wings was kind of boring. He was dying down. It was the same crap with him. He was barely streaming once he lost his Twitch partnership and came to YouTube. I think he became a very defeated man. And he wasn't like a funny Wings anymore. It was kind of a depressing uh, <laughs> watching Wings. So yep. I started digging more and watching more of DSP. I tried to try to watch Cy Cyrax. But there's something about Cyrax and uh, Chris Chan. There's just mental instability there that I kind of have to give them a little bit of pass and say, <laughs> okay, they, there's something more than just, yeah, there, there's <laughs> something more. No, Phil is just, you know, Phil is just Phil. But mm -hmm. Chan and um, and Cyrax, there, there just seems something more there, like serious, real mental health disabilities there. So I try to stay away from them. It's hard mocking up. Uh, a mentally 
challenge person, to be honest. <laughs> I got to say thanks real quick to Yosef. And he says, all of you are just haters. And Duty took the L with 10K subs. Yes, congratulations on 10K subs, Duty. Legendary. And Thank also you, thanks you. to Crimson Wolf there. Uh, but, but Meerkat, you're kind of getting into the Cyrax thing a little bit, right? You might disagree with that. Is he someone to uh, feel bad for? Because I feel like Duty, too, sometimes. I, I'm very much on the outside of Cyrax stuff. But feel he feels bad little, for? I barely like bit. feel like he's a human being, dude. He's like a government <laughs> experiment that ran away from, like, Area 51. He's just like... <laughs> A, a different specimen of existing. He actually thinks he's a good rapper. He he can barely speak English, and he thinks he's a rapper and all the the other stuff. But I I, I can't say I'm well versed into it since the only time I decided to watch his uh, like a documentary about him, I was a like, dead drunk and I wasn't there half the time. So I <laughs> I can't say I retained all that knowledge. But it's safe to say he's not great, and he's much worse than Phil, as Phil got to experience that yesterday as he was watching videos about Cyrax. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah how, is could, like, yeah. how is his, like, um, arteries not clogged up with, like, fat and grease? And I was like, his heart not stopped. Because the most I've seen of him is cooking videos, and they're just awful, like, even compared to Phil. Who, Cyrax? To, like, yeah, yeah. Is it Cyrax Are you talking about Cobra? Cobra? I think it's part of it. Okay, yeah. Steve, I mix them both up too all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Cobes and Cyrax. No, Co Cobra is just way too swampy for me. He just reminds me of swamp yeah. people. And I, I just I get disgusted <laughs> just watching it. Just just thinking about how long it's been since you showered just just teaves me out. So I, I can't uh -huh. do Cobra. Yeah. Cobra. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Duties came on the show and definitely is willing to answer anything. We're not going to pull a Chatham and Adam here. A Chatham and Adam. Chatham and Craig thing here. But we do want to ask some questions because some people have some criticism of Duty that are, could, could be fair, could not be fair. We're going to find out. Meerkat, you're in charge of this, though. You are the Ch Chatham of our podcast. So please get to these questions. Yeah, man. Uh, Duty is by far the most controversial, divisive, and polarizing person we've ever had on. So we got to ask him some, some, uh, some questions that people have had in the past and it's pretty easy to tell you can go on kiwi farms you can go on reddit and you can see all the people talking about him there was this whole uh pastor miller saga that's going on where the dude de dedicated his whole channel about duty and i i talked to duty during that time and i'm like yeah man this dude is pretty crazy he's kind of unhinged but some of the stuff he's saying seems like valid criticism to me so we're about to bring up some of that now uh i, I guess the first one that i, I would like to cover uh, is uh, like uploading so many videos a day. I know they're all clips, but some of that shit is like two minutes long, man. Don't you think it would be better if you upload like one, like 20 minute video a day or maybe a video for each stream that DSP does? Because that's the thing that people regularly complain about is how much you upload. And it, 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 it's very easy to compare to how Phil uploads and the same criticism is applied to him. So uh, what do you have uh, to respond to that? Uh, sure, Marigat. So first of all, I, I'm not sure if I can answer this because I have to protect my family. <laughs> but I, I will try. I will try without giving up too much information. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, that is a valid criticism about uploading too many videos. I get that. I hear that. I actually tell people that uh, I, I take a page from DSP's book where I my style is guerrilla upload, you know, where I, I I upload a lot of videos and a lot of it, to be honest, is one to troll Phil because I like to get under his skin. The second thing is that it floods the algorithm and it kind of blocks a lot of the stuff that kind of Phil does, DSP video does. So that, that's kind of the, the two purposes of it, uh, two mm -hmm. purposes. So most of my videos actually aren't two minutes long. If you look at most of my videos, they're between five and eight minutes long. And what I like to do is I like to post um, segments that are focused on a specific topic. For example, if he's talking about Keemstar, I'll have a video specifically about Keemstar. And one of the criticisms that people levy on Phil is that his videos are way too damn long. No one's going to go in there and watch three hours of content. So what I try to do is I try to do like between five to eight videos a day with just specific topics that he's talking about. So people can go and watch that without having to filter through all the through all the non nonsense. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that some people may say it's, it's overkill, it's too much. And yeah, that's a valid criticism. Um, I actually went from like 10 videos down to like six or seven. So I'm trying to be better about that and not flood the system too much. So that is a valid cr criticism and uh, I'm trying to do better with that. 
But this this can further be optimized. You can just make like one or two videos a day and just timestamp all the segments in them and people can go watch whatever they care about and they can find out about all of the clips in one dedicated place and it's much easier for everybody. Yeah, that's I, I I could try that. I could definitely try that and see how that works out. Um again, I am more than happy to listen to constructive criticism and, you know, try to modify like one of the things i did was i never put timestamps on myself i started doing that because some of the folks especially with anything i had commentary with i started putting timestamps in and it worked and the other thing too is i'm kind of trying to also listen to my communities one thing i do that's pretty different from most detractors is i communicate with my community like i i like uh i comment on as many posts as i can i kind of try to engage my community because i appreciate that they're taking the time to watch my videos mm -hmm. so you know I, i'm also trying to listen to them and to be honest most of the people that watch my content they're good with what i'm doing so it's kind of like you know that's that's kind of why i keep doing what i'm doing but you, you guys do bring up a valid point sometimes it can, it can be overkill and mm -hmm. i can definitely try that like maybe i can lump some of the videos together and do timestamps definitely yeah. yeah you can with with the proper branding you can do like wonders for your channel it's just like it's going to be the go-to place for clips and it's going to be easy to sort through and sift through all the, the stuff you care and you don't care about. And it's not going to flood uh, uh, people's algorithms. So, yeah. Yep, but I, so I get the point of, of kind of like saturating everything with like DSP troll stuff because I have other channels where I watch non-DSP stuff. And every once in a while, I would accidentally click some link, watch a DSP clip or something, and I can run away from it. I can't escape mm -hmm. from it. Yeah, yeah. It's totally <laughs> happens. It just infects it. It infects it for some reason. Because I, I guess everyone in the Tractorverse is, like, hungry for shit. And, like, when we click one video, YouTube's like, oh, yeah, keep getting more. They'll click more, motherfucker. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So that the amount sense. of times I've had, like, DSP gaming, right-click, do not suggest this channel to me in future. <laughs> yeah. After and, a and, heavy pick pick go session, like, it's like, oh, you like watching this guy's stuff. <laughs> and, and one thing, one thing that I, I do want to, one thing I do want to point out is that I've said this over and over again. I, I'm a clown. I'm a clown in the corner watching two midgets fight and me laugh, pointing laugh. So, mm -hmm. you know, my, my role in this is, is kind of a clown. But I do notice and I and I and I and I take into heart that my channel is growing. It is bigger. I am a representative of the detractor community no matter what. And yeah. kind of what I do does reflect on other people. And I understand that and I and I really get that. And I'm trying to do better with my content, like not make errors, not make mistakes, make the audio sound better and, and that type of stuff. So I'm definitely trying. So, you know, uh, I, I'm getting there. I'm 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 like Phil. I'm a flawed human. <laughs> and, and I, you know, I'm trying to get better with those things. Yeah, one thing I do want to say is I didn't play it on Wednesday because I just forgot I'm old. But the dude, he did send a video. He's doing the research because he, he was you were getting some crap for that. Obviously, you were in that amazing segment with Craig and uh, oh, Keen. Lord. And I know you got some hot, some heat for that. So I know you were you were studying, going back in the in the in the uh, ex mortis library and watching some stuff there. So I know you're trying to improve your lore knowledge there. But it seems I mean it seems pretty good. But I know there's some it, you can't make everyone happy, right? So just about that, real quick. How did you feel that went for you to talking to Craig and Keith? Uh, I'm still sweating from it. I was very, I was a nerve. It's not my wheelhouse. That was not my wheelhouse. And I was caught off guard and I tried to do my best. I try, and essentially what I tried to do is just facilitate a call essentially between Craig and Keemstar. And then when Gundam came in, I was like, oh my Lord. Uh, <laughs> so I was very nervous. I know I flubbed the Lord twice and I tried correcting it. So I apologize for that. I'll take the L on that one. Uh, I, I think I did okay. I, I could have done way better. I was very nervous. It kind of came off. Uh, I got a lot of positive feedback from people, and I did get some constructive criticism, which, like I said, I'm always happy to accept. Uh, but for the most part, it was really good. Uh, there were some things I wish I would have changed, like towards the end and stuff. But it is what it is, and you know, you can only just review it and try to do better. Yep, yep. And I think you know, I think you're fine to be fair, but that's, that's just me. Uh, that's one of the things I'm I'm glad you realize, and that's something very hard to deal with. Is in like a a big scale representing the whole community and all the different perspectives that exist. Cause I know they kind of got you by surprise by just Keemstar just jumping on your stream and then Craig showing up, then Gundam showing up. <laughs> and I think like probably 90% of all the, the troll channels would have a very hard time dealing with that. Cause it's like a, it's a high profile moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think you did pretty well. 
of course yeah. you, you messed up the lore several times in the like the theory about Derek's parents paying DSP, they were one minute man. That shit was hilarious, dude. <laughs> that that was, honestly, that was a joke. I was trying to lighten it up. Like I said, yeah. I was nervous, and I should have said that was a joke, and I didn't. But I, I felt like it felt real flat. It felt flat. Yeah, and because I, I think it was just, a little, like, right, it was a little let me, inside let me just baseball, right? Yeah, I was like, yeah. let me just move on. You know, one of those things where you kind of like, all right, you know, you it fell flat. Just move on, and hopefully. You know, people are too high to remember it and just, just <laughs> go forward. Outside of that, I think it was fine. I think that, I mean, you could talk about the joining, having people join you at the end. Was that you kind of scrambling, like, to try to take the heat off you a little bit by having, bringing some more people, some more voices in there? Uh, okay. So I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but there were, I, I was, <laughs> I was on DM with a few people and I was getting set, you know, kind of told a few things. And, and, and uh, for example, hey, gave me a really good question about, uh, filling, uh, getting someone else instead of DSP. Hate Army gave me that question. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think towards the end, I got uh, again, I got a little overwhelmed, yeah. and then I had some folks saying, "Hey, let me let me drop in." I was gonna do one, I accidentally did two, and then at that point, I was like, "Oh shit!" And they kind of <laughs> screw it up. Me like, oh. and the other thing, I, I, I as soon as I did it, I should have said to myself, "I should have asked." I should have said, "Hey, do you guys do you guys mind if I bring in a person that?" knows a little bit more can can provide some more clearer answers i didn't do that i just i brought them on and then uh you know talked i and that was a mistake that i did so yeah yeah and I, real quick everyone's saying like you did a bad job or whatever you don't know how it's gonna go man you do not know i would be shitting myself happen right now in that you know situation yeah, yeah yeah yeah. you don't yeah. know how it's gonna go you don't know how you can handle it you think about it in your mind you know but you don't fucking know so i think you did overall i think you did very fine you know don't yeah, worry about to be much. fair if you're if you're saying number one if you're saying that you had sort of a blanket intention something as simple as just facilitating that call in the moment like that that's more than i think just about anybody would have had in that yeah. moment being able to just say this is what i want to do and then looking back at it from that perspective that's pretty much what you did i remember getting to the end of it and thinking like craig has almost entirely taken this thing over and mm -hmm. that's and, and duty seems that seems to be the way he wants to handle it so i would yeah. i would say mission accomplished but no no mission is accomplished perfectly it's not yeah. reality yeah. Yeah. yeah thank yeah. you yeah i i appreciate you guys with the comments and the feedbacks yeah i i, I got a lot of it which was cool most of it again was was pretty positive and, and most people understand like you guys say I was kind of thrown into it and, and tried to do as the, the best job I could but again that is not my wheelhouse my wheelhouse is just being the clown and uh, yeah so yeah yeah I think I for, yeah, for, for all it's <laughs> worth uh, when people like were making a big deal at what happened in the end Craig was completely checked out at that point the dude was just ready to go all you could have done is just like given him a way out and he would have gone I think that was like your only mistake and the second mistake yes it's introducing anyone anyone as a dsp expert to normal people <laughs> you don't yeah. do that because that that shit is cringe to anybody who's like not into the the lore and the stuff mm. yeah okay. you're right anyway. yeah Anyway. So uh, big up the person that you're bringing in, though. Say, hey, look, this person's relevant. He knows the stuff I don't. So, you know, if, if you're trying to explain it to someone like like Keem or Craig. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest point. here. I'm going to be honest here. When I saw that it was actually Keemstar in my, in my, in my, in my feed and he DM'd me, I was literally going to shut off the stream and just be like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I know I would have been in more hell from everyone if I did that. But yeah, I said, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I can manage it. I'll try. And what's the worst that can happen? You know, maybe I, I, the worst case is I accidentally call him a gnome or something. But I was just like, all right, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So let, let's just let's go forward. Well, and you also yeah. didn't go Sir Keem on him either, which was nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was yeah, just yeah, yeah. you. You acted. You acted <laughs> like you were a normal human talking to a normal human. Yes, that came yeah. out. That came out. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Now we we still have some stuff to go through. Let's uh, let's yes. not let it take over everything. But I sh I sure want to mention it. Uh, Duty is ba basically the, the breaking news guy of the whole detractor thing. And uh, by being the breaking news guy, there are some downsides that come to it when uh, you're not correct on what you report or you're misinterpreting stuff or you're mixing your opinion with what you think is actually happening in a clip. So there was this thing, of course, with One Minute Man. There was this video Phil confirms he is one minute man that I, I found to be hilarious because I clicked on the video. I'm curious, like, what did Phil say? And then it's it's just you interpreting that video into it being Phil confirming that's one minute man. And I think you can do a, a very good job at like watching a video, doing commentary, whatever, as long as you separate that from 
you trying to do breaking news kind of stuff. Like, I, I don't know, brand yourself differently. So when people click on something they think is a clip, they get a clip. And when they people click on something they think is a commentary, they get a commentary. So you should, like, distinguish those. Because I think, like, um, doing theories and all that, like, uh, thinking about, hey, could Phil do this? Could Phil do that? That's, like, a core... Uh, element of being a detractor it's what makes it fun when you can make a bunch of theories about stuff but then like yeah. passing them as kind of breaking news doesn't really work out and you're going to get called out a lot as what is happening to you uh yeah and and i think we had this conversation before america about that is that yeah. when now when i'm doing commentary i make sure that i say my opinion mm -hmm. so if i'm if i'm stating fact i'll just state the fact or what i believe is the fact but if i'm making an opinion I'm doing my best to make to say this is my opinion or this is my theory. So I, I did get their feedback from you a while back and, and I'm implementing that. And I, I appreciate you telling me that. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing, too, regarding the titles and stuff like that. Yes, sometimes my titles do infer things and I, I need to do a better job with maybe even putting a question mark or just saying, you know, kind of wording it. The, the problem, too, is that you only get 100 characters. So it's like, what are you going to put in the title? So I'm trying to do a better job to, to, to kind of pinpoint whether this is uh, like an opinion title or I'm not sure or maybe like some of that's one of the things I do. If I, if I post something, I'll put maybe or something like that. I'm not sure. Or did DSP, you know, kind of ask a question. So I'm trying to do better with that. Uh, but yes, that that is something that, yes, I, I've done in the past. Some people will say it's clickbaity. And yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Some of it is clickbaity. Uh, so I'm just trying to do better again, like taking your feedback from our past conversations and just cleaning it up. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. It, I, I have to say in the recent times, I haven't seen you do any stuff like that that I have a problem with. Like four to five months ago, there was a, a few clips that I had a, an issue with and I've le left a comment on them. One of them was uh, you going on Amazon and trying to prove. Uh, that DSP actually didn't buy gunner glasses or something because there's a, a gunner glasses suggested when you buy a TV and you try and pass it off as proof. And I called you out that I don't think that's convincing enough as proof. And that was like four or five months ago. But uh, I've looked at your channel recently. I don't think there's anything I like can find much uh, disinformation in. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely mm -hmm. remember that. I remember that comment. And yeah, what it was, was I, 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 what I did was I was looking at the TV he bought. And the funny thing was, was that, you know, how to recommend, th recommend things. That was the thing that it recommended was those color glasses. I just wanted to point out how funny it was. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think maybe it came off like me saying, oh, Phil bought, you know, like it's definite. Like, and, and, and again, yeah, sometimes I, I need to be very careful with what I'm putting in my title. And I'm trying to do a way better job with that. And again, like I said, state opinion when it's opinion. And yeah. Yeah. I think you can even do a, like, you can take it one step further and just like create a new type of a quote unquote show where you just brand it as like, this is duty's opinion. I'm watching a video. I'm telling you what I think about it. And the rest of what you see on this channel is just going to be clips. So it's easy. Somebody sees their like sub box and they can tell immediately what they're, they're signing up for. Yeah. This is in not the, people in chat are flipping out like this is some kind of <laughs> interview what? situation. It's just are the they? chat is no, it's just like this thing like you were get, trying to get Meerkat's approval. Duty's not getting Meerkat's approval. Meerkat's just sharing his opinion on things that other people have shared, right? I mean, that's what we're here yeah, for. Yeah. Just talking to Duty. And Duty's cool enough to understand. We are supporters of Duty. Duty's a legend. I mean, he talks to he Duty makes an effort to go to other people's channels, be a part of them. Nothing. We love duty, right? This is just something that we've noticed other people said to us he, and other people. And now we're asking talked about, about this it, with so. with King Sly before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think oh, everybody I'm, could have this spotlight turned on them at some time or another, yeah. and it would be and it would be a good thing. So it's, myself it's, included. Uh, let me let me just state this real quick to the chat. All, uh, Maricat. I've even had conversations with Steve. I've had conversations with Proper. I've had conversations with a whole bunch of people where they came to me. And we're open, and they they expressed how they felt about whatever the issue was, and we've had a conversation, and it's good. I've never felt like any of them were trying to rebrand me, trying to trying to make me change. They were just like, "Hey, dude, here's some advice." And for the most part, I'd say ninety five percent of it, I accepted and say, "Yeah, you're right. Let me try to do better." So the America thing, I know some people are saying, "I'm just trying to get America's approval." Me and America have actually had conversations on DM, and he's given me this feedback before, and that's why I've 
uh, made changes and tried to improve my my content. It's not that I'm trying to get Mericat approval. It's just that when when <laughs> someone boyfriend. yeah when someone yeah, going you, some, yeah when someone <laughs> comes to you and says hey d- hey duty I'm not trying to trash you I'm not trying to be an ass I, I just wanted to talk to you when when people come to me that way it's like cool I want to listen to this person hear what they have to say and if I don't if I don't agree with it I'll let them not say hey I appreciate it but I don't agree. Or I'll just say, yeah, you got a good point, and then I try to do better. So I, yes. I just wanted to put that out there that no one in the detractor field has come to me and basically, you know, it, it, it's all good. This is yeah. how people grow and improve. Yeah. Plus, we're all adults. We can talk about stuff like this. And well, he's doing the exact opposite of what we all criticize DSP for. Yeah. Plain yeah. and simple. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need decompression stream duty after this. Yes, <laughs> I, I change as a human. Got King Star on it again. <laughs> <laughs> Get keep star again. All right, I think it's cool. Bearcat, anything else you want to share before we move on? Uh, yeah, the there's the, the yeah. last one, and that yeah. that's the funniest one, man. Because there's a uh, there's a couple of thumbnails that Duty has done that are literally just like right click save on somebody <laughs> else's thumbnail and change it slightly. There's one that is literally uh, DSP gives life advice on mobile games. That is just the secret limited thumbnail with an extra burger on top of it. And there's one that is like a forbidden math thumbnail with uh, an extra DSP head on top of the DSP head that is already in the thumbnail. And I find it funny, but I've seen people post these in the Discord and be like, hey, look, dude, you stole somebody's thumbnail. I don't think the, the person that the thumbnail was originally from would have much against it, but it's just kind of, it just makes you look like sloppy with it. So that's that's the last one that I've seen, I guess. Yeah, no problem so with that. And- to the- Oh, I'm sorry. No problem with that. I and and yeah, I definitely understand that. I I ask. So I, I don't know if most people ever see, but any uh, and you guys like Maricap. I, I hate it, but whenever I use someone's music or use someone's uh, content, I go and ask. Mm-hmm. So the only one I couldn't ask was the secret limited one. Which yeah, you're right about that. I added a few things about it because I was doing the secret limited react video on myself. The forbidden one, I I asked. So I, I typically ask. So you know. Yeah, but all right. There was cool. one that I wanted to point out when you were, you used Aqua Teal's video, and instead of just sort of like crediting Aqua Teal, you, you just zoomed in. So and, and again, you know, yep. it was... and 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 yeah, that Aqua Teal one, I I know that come. I didn't use Aqua, I, and I stated it, and I actually reached out to uh, I don't know, mm. I reached out to someone that knew Aqua because I wanted mm. to have a conversation about it because I kept seeing it. That video is actually Raw DSP's video. I, I use most of his, when he used to stream. I use most of his videos to 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 make my content. I try not to give DSP a view when I when I when I can't. So yeah, you know, Raw is fine, but this was like specifically Aqua Teals. You could tell by the um, the there was like clipping of the text from the chat as it went past, and you could tell it was the font Aqua Teal uses. So again, and you might have reached out yeah. and said, "Hey, can I use this clip?" And they go, "Yeah, it's fine," but it's just like. To, to people just watching, unaware of the fact that you've reached out and they've said it's fine, it yeah. looks like you're, you're stealing it. So the simple thing would there would be like credit to Aquatil for letting me use this video, and then you know the link to a channel and the, no, the definitely. Thing. And yeah, I, I, I and, and I and I I do that in my comment section. Mm-hmm. I, I'll have to go look back at that one, but I'm pretty sure I didn't take her content. Yeah. Just it was a while this, ago. Yeah, just for the simple fact too that I'm usually the first one to post. So that's yeah. another criticism. I usually tell people like, well, how am I stealing someone's content if I'm usually the first one to post? And I get that a lot. People say, oh, you're using her streams. And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not using her. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, and it's fine. And I know people have their camps and they like their favorite detail. And it's all good. It's perfectly fine. I know people don't like me. It's all good. So, you know, it's good. But yeah, I, again, everyone can do better. I know I can. So mm-hmm. I will make sure that if something like that ever happens, I will give the credit and definitely reach out. Like, yes. So do yeah, the way I've handled it, sorry, yeah. just as somebody who's used a lot of clips from a lot of people, the way I've handled it is I like, put the name on the screen during the clip and then link in the description. You know, here's their channel. I use this video and there's their channel. So you've got two links and then everybody knows where it's from. And it's just like an easy way. Oh, right. There you go. Rather than oh god he's stealing it, you know. Yeah, I, I hear you, Steve. Yeah, and and after this, after this, I'll go back and take a look. And if that is the case, I will add whatever I need to add. Reach out to Aqua and apologize. I mean, that's one thing that you guys know. I, I I'm not. Yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah. I, I will apologize and try to make it correct. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Grab me your cat. Sound like you want to say something? Finish oh yeah, uh, I mean that's that's why we had to talk about this because we can't have duty on one of the both most requested and also most criticized channels out there and not bring up that stuff. Yeah, because then it's I, just I, like an echo yeah. chamber. We just like fucking suck each other's dicks type type of situation. <laughs> that's that's always after the stream. So we yeah. better we got that out now. <laughs> yeah, and I and again I am not beholden to to not receiving mm. credit. You know feel free and anyone in the chat or whatever that wants to have a chat with me or talk with me i'm available my twitter dms are open to anyone uh, i'm more than happy to talk with anyone you know about yes. anything yes so there we go remember what the important thing in this these situations is remember the teachings of sir moist and, and just hold your hands up and say it's not that deep <laughs> So remember I that, that was in the Quran. <laughs> yes, that's true. Oh. <laughs> but let's move on now. We can, we been... <laughs> Well, before we do here, real oh, quick, I just want to point out. I I, yes. I ran up for my uh, my once per show bathroom break, and yes. Man Susan wouldn't let me super chat you that information. So I owe you guys a five spot and fuck Man Susan. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you. So, anyways, Duty's here. We're going to talk about the weekend weekend review, and then we're going to get to the art contest, of course. So thanks so much, Duty, for joining us for this and handling our questions that other people have said. You are a legend for even. You know, that's tough to do. And you sat there and took the questions and you answered them. You're a legend. Never forget that. All right. No one, no one's saying differently. You know, duty. I hope you know. Oh, I, I love everybody. I love you guys. You, you know how I feel about your channel. You know how I feel about all of the other detractors yeah. and stuff. So it's, it's nothing but love and appreciation. Cool. 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 And we have Decepticon saying, I'm glad TBS was able to bring on an elder buddy for ALT. <laughs> that being said, nursing home in the future. Maybe we can work on that together. Me and Duty be in that nursing home. The first two members of the That Being Said Nursing Home. Thanks so much for that, Decepticon. Always hilarious, really funny, and unique comments that we appreciate here. First thing I want to get into for the week is the Lol Cal podcast is dead, my friends. But you know why? It's because DSP's not taking part in it. If it was anyone else, if it was DSP and Wings, it still would happen. If it was DSP and Boogie, it still would happen. When I'm not there, motherfuckers, the thing is dead. I'm the legend. Suck my dick. And that's basically what DSP said. What are your thoughts on this, Sam? We haven't heard for you in a while. I'll throw it to you first. I think you can get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, to be fair, is he kind of right? In the, you know, the, oh, he's, he's right. He's right, yeah. but not for the reason he thinks. He's right. Yeah. 100%. Who wants Boogie and Wing Stream? Kill myself. Yeah, but there's been a lot, of, a lot of heavy narcissism had a lot of heavy cope in this last what are we coming up to what are we week and a half now is that, that it <laughs> that feels like a long time ago yeah. ai yeah. after interview the eras <laughs> it's, it's, it's just that it's like there's there's any any little um opportunity you can get to to latch onto something and make it about him and make it about how he's above these other people and that he doesn't need other people like that and he's going to take it man and there's just been so many instances of it. They're, they're talking about Max yesterday and, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, God. He, he is in serious, serious cope mode. Um, and, and some people I seem surprised that he's still getting money, guys. Listen, if the interview is going to change any of their opinions, they would already have their opinions changed, right? Phil has enough fans that will buy whatever he says and not care about that stuff that continue to support him as it is now. Of course, it's going down as the years go. But None of these big kind of revelations are ever going to change someone's opinion that's already given money to him, right? Just not going to happen, right? Because they already point, clearly believe it. Yeah, go ahead, Darcy. Can we can we just as a community agree to just stop saying that like that we're in the final season that he's going to go away soon? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I have been hearing that shit since I walked into this shit show in 2017, and I'm like, every time I hear it, I'm just like, no, no, because the one thing he's got is the willpower to continue. That is the one thing he's got in droves. Okay, uh, okay. I'll agree. I'll agree on that, Darcy, but. Uh, definitely divorce arc this year. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, but in the writing room. Duty. We're getting a signature <laughs> duty segment. Yeah, I was going to say, where's the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It'll be coming please. soon. No, I mean, divorce I, yeah. confirmed. <laughs> yeah, those are the two things. Divorce arc yeah. every year, and uh, it's divorce arc and uh, uh, end of DSP, final season DSP. So we can't lose both. We have to keep <laughs> one. Have you been in Cat's DMs? Is that why you're so confident? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I've got some beef Stealing her away a, from ALT. Me and Duty at Mega Mania. That'd be the high, that's a good uh, main event here. Uh, both, but that's not the, go ahead. Both, both me and all are the only ones that I think believe that Cat was attractive when she was when she first came on the scene. I definitely. Everybody oh, else thinks she's we'll a talk about it later. I don't know. <laughs> not true. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've gone on record as saying that original Cat was uh, was pretty decent. Ooh. Original Cat. Look at all these. <laughs> look at that fan well, now, now, she's, now she's extra crispy. 
<laughs> damn. Damn, the fan club is growing. I've started a movement. I, I, I think if we can, I think if we can get her away for six months, some intense therapy, some physical training, and limited DoorDash, we can get back. We can get cat back. Original cat back. Your <laughs> cat. Let's go to TLC about? and like propose. Yeah, but what what makes theory. you think of a divorce arc? No, I'm just saying that the two arcs that always are prominent are divorce arc and uh, mm-hmm. and final season arc. And Darcy wanted to get rid of. Uh, oh final, right, right, and right, I, right, right. And I yeah. said, yeah, I think oh, he wanted to get rid of both. Yeah, got, yeah, got, Can't yeah. get rid of both. Mm-hmm. We have to keep right. one. Got a thing to hold on yeah. to, uh, which is you know. Yeah, she's not know. leaving. She's in a good she, position as far yeah. as she's concerned, didn't she? So. Yep, definitely, definitely. Um, so let's talk about. Um, what one thing I thought was interesting was the threatening now, threatening of threatening. Craig and Chatham. How Phil says, "Oh, Phil first was talking about the interview, like he did for like I don't know how many hours, and he said this was it was an interview and then a crap fest. That was not the agreement. He, his words, that was not the agreement, right? So that clearly means there was some kind of agreement of what was going to happen, and you know what kind of because agreement." If I said like to do, to Dark State Duty today, hey guys, come on the stream. You guys want to come on the show on this Sunday? Cool, in. That's not really an agreement in my mind. I guess Phil might say that's an agreement, but he can specifically you, said that that's not an agreement. Go ahead, Sam. Can you imagine how that would have had to have gone down though, from from their point of view, uh, in order for that to be done? He, they would have to do the interview and then essentially become DSP to every single detractor. They would have to ignore every super chat and and block everyone because how the hell would they do that interview and then just just stonewall everyone like that's that, no one's ever gonna it, yeah yeah, well, yeah, yeah. No, no one's ever gonna do that <laughs> that'd be the quarter good point mm-hmm. <laughs> great point <laughs> like that's that's mm. true because uh, all the all the fucking super chats were constantly dude they were just getting rolling in dough about DSP but that's all they were doing for the next they still are actually. Still, people say comments like every you know detractors are now watching their content. I'm like, if there's a joke that they can tie to DSP somehow, they'll do it, you know, just for the yeah. joke, and it's cool. But it's just like that's you can't have an agreement where after this interview, we're not talking about it again. That's what Phil wanted, which shows another how stupid he was to agree with this in the fucking first place. I mean, let's get real. Let's get real. Let's let's not forget how stupid a decision it was to say yes to this. The massive, massive career mistake that was. It's not that it affected him that much in the end, in terms of his fans getting receiving money, but in terms of his appearance online, which is already in the shithole, so I guess you could say, fuck you, LT. He already was in, in the shitter. I guess you're right there. But think about what was to gain, right? That's the question I throw. What was to gain from doing an interview? In his mind, we know it was a regular spot on this fun, nonsense-filled podcast where we talk about games. But what was to lose, right? And we saw it, but... I guess you could argue you didn't lose that much, though. But what are your thoughts? They had way more to lose than he did. Because if they did a bad job, they would get shit on endlessly. Yeah. And they would mm-hmm. be known as, oh, those guys who got an interview with Phil and they talked about where the load went the whole time. Mm-hmm. And they brought up some criticisms that the dude had against them. And they just shook their can- the, the, they shook their heads and they moved on. Yeah. I guess they knew that's why they couldn't do that, though. They, that, they knew they couldn't do that, I yeah. guess. That's... that's, that's... I was so legendary. I, I I think I was thinking about that, like the whole thing, and of course, you know, you, you you see all the jokes and all the memes, but you try to really put yourself in Phil's position to try to figure out why did he do this. And I, I the other day I was thinking to myself, maybe he was he, so initially he wanted to do it just to come on as a guest to talk about games or whatever. Maybe it was just him trying to reach out and make some friends, you know, especially <laughs> being that he's so isolated and alone. I mean, even the most hard, like me, I, I'm a bit of a loner. I have a small circle of friends and I'm fine with that. But mm. occasionally, you know, I want to get out of my, 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 my cage and go do something with, with some friends. You know, you get, you get that, you get lonely a bit. Yeah. So I, I was thinking maybe that's what he was hoping to gain out of this with some friends where he can go and do, <laughs> uh, am, I, I am I way off? I, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I think you're right, though. That's the vibe that I got during the post show when he put on the hat just to make himself look like interesting and contribute something to the show. And then they all just like cringed. So I, I think you're on to something. I think he was hoping to be kind of a semi regular guy who appeared mm-hmm. on the podcast. They would talk about video games and so on. <laughs> so I, I think you're right on this. That was just atrociously bad. That moment was 
incredible that moment mm. we'll live in forever i uh, gotta say thanks to eric who said uh thanks that's the nursing home fund is getting some money here alt we should i should start using diapers i mean this is getting deep guys come on <laughs> You gotta too stop far. selling it. That's how it works. You gotta <laughs> yes. stop. You gotta stop selling the injury. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but also in that Phil, that rant here, after he said like, uh, you know, that's not what the agreement was. That's not what the agreement was. Uh, I ha- know stuff about them. I know things about them. You think I don't? I know shit about them. Everyone does. And then, okay, that was the first like just threatening, one hundred percent threatening, threatening them for no reason. And he knows nothing, by the way. Threatening. threatening. And then Craig and Chatham, though, clapped back and said, please, Phil, please share it. Please share anything you know. And, of course, we haven't heard anything since then. Phil doesn't know anything other than what? Craig used to be with his business partner when they started Screw Attack. Then they had kind of a falling out. But that's, like, normal shit. He just, and I guess he's just talking to his own audience. But this was just really, I just another, one of the three, and this is one of the prongs. But bro, what was the actual agreement? He was going to go on their podcast. It was going to be a no holds barred, nothing off the table type of interrogation. That's exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. He flopped and then he kind of reversed that into not being into it being something different. It's not what he agreed to. That's exactly so, what he agreed to. So I've, I've talked about I, this on a couple yeah. of other streams. And I really think what it is, is he got their buy off to use his term that everyone was going to be nice to him. Right. Just like w- his agreement to letting Keen come into the call. And in his mind, that's just a, that was a blanket thing. So the second anyone did something that he deemed as not nice to him, he had preloaded his excuse to just fucking unload on him. That's it. He just in his mind, the agreement was everyone was going to they were they were going to hit him with some hardballs, but they were going to be nice, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> it's gonna be like weird the obsession. Sorry. <clears throat> he yeah. has this weird obsession with being fair. Like you could use my clips, but be fair. You could m- compile like this is how you don't play, but be fair. You could ask me questions, but be fair. And it's like, how do you define fair? Because criticism is going to hurt. It's criticism by its very nature. It is going to expose and explore uh, something you consider a flaw or a mistake or a weakness or something like that. So the idea that you could be fair is is really. I, I don't know. I think I think it comes from a misunderstanding of fair use. You know, when he's complaining about people stealing his videos, and he's like, "I have to be fair." It's called fair use. You have to. And he's like, "That's not what it means." But I, I don't know where that comes from at all. He's just really weird about it, and that's one of the times when it comes up. So I, I quickly have just two points on uh, why what 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 he was talking about about this wasn't the agreement. I think the I think the agreement was possibly was that. Uh, they were going to have a first interview and then possibly a second interview. Mm-hmm. So I think Phil was hoping that the next set of questions that would come out would be in the second interview, not during that post podcast work. Cause he kept saying, I wasn't invited. Why wasn't I invited to at least give my side of the story? And that's what he was, <laughs> he was leaning on. Uh, so I think, I think that's what he meant by when he, when he was saying this wasn't the agreement. Uh, and then the other thing too, is I think as soon as that, as soon as Craig said, Send me a screenshot. I think send me a screenshot of your uh was it WW or your Apple yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Phone, yeah. As soon as he asked that, a wall came up in front of Phil and just said, Nope, I'm done. I'm out. Uh, I and I think at that point he was saying to himself, Okay, let me try to get out of this as quickly as possible without any damage. And I think mm-hmm. he was st- he was starting his excuse of why I would never come on again or why I can't give Craig this screenshot and that was a that was a perfect question it just seemed like everything flipped as soon as Craig said those words and I'm, I was sitting I was streaming it and I was giddy I mean everyone <laughs> in the chat was just giddy when that came out yeah that was that, that's a good point because that's when kind of the, the feeling changed from this could still be this could go somewhere kind of it always was interesting but saying like yeah. Phil could share something new here right now there's still a chance for that but then once he said, like, I don't know, I have to check. Then it was like, all right, well, we're getting the same shit. This is how much more will he put up with? And he put up with a lot more. But damn, that, that really was the turning point and the chance he had to remember. This was his chance to shut everything up about WB champions. If he had the foresight, listen to the little amount of foresight you need. Okay, close, d- delete the app or whatever. You still save your account. So open it, get, get Kat's phone. They don't know what your phone looks like. They don't know what, what the fuck your phone looks like. Get Cat's phone. WWE Champions. New account. Whatever the fuck name you want. DoorDash Demon. 081. 1651 or something. Make a different name. 
do a few pulls so it looks like you've been playing, and you're done. You mm. are done. That is the preparation required. Five minutes. He couldn't do that. He could not do that preparation. Never forget that. That's the chance he had right there. Craig was giving him an easy way out. Please show me your phone. Cat's phone. WB Champions. Different account name. We're done. Of course people would say it's bullshit. I know that. I know that. But he would have the ultimate, ultimate thing to hold over us. Bigger than the escort. Fuck the escort. This would be the WB Champions shit. They said I was playing W Champions forever. Look what I did. I showed Craig a screenshot. And he vouches for me. That's what he had to do. Five minutes. Five Agreed. minutes of work, he couldn't do it. Yeah, Agreed. but we are now at the point where that's gone. That that opportunity is now gone because you've introduced doubt like that. Anytime from now on, if he decided to show a screenshot, we would be like, "That's edited. That's not your account. Mm-hmm. That's you. You've gone to Cat's phone and done a new account." You know, he's lost that opportunity now. The only way he could ever get away with it now and, and to sort of like disprove it is to literally hold his phone to the screen and and activate it and show. But even then, people will be like, "That's Cat's phone. That's not yours." You know, but now so, he's got the ironclad defense of just saying, well, I was going to send it to him, but now I'm not going to because they were mean to me. That was probably my favorite part. I had it, it loaded him, up, guys. It, it took him like a while to reply to the email, didn't it? That was it. <laughs> it's like, I yeah. emailed him. He didn't get back oh. to me straight away. Yeah. <laughs> Adam and Craig both said it was too late. Like, I think someone had mm. brought that up that, that Phil was going to send it. And they both said, no, it's too late. The, the time was when they ask or shortly after or even before the end of the of the stream and phil just said no essentially said yeah. no i think they i think they said that to him while he was still there didn't they mm-hmm. i think, yep. I think yep. that came up mm-hmm. and but asked. phil phil just failed to understand that that a crucial part of the the whole thing and uh, and then used it as an excuse the next day yeah. or, or used it as a, a talking point the next day Remember he and emailed again, saying like, oh, real quick. He emailed saying like, I was 50-50 on telling you, the, showing you the information or not. Sending that email that says, hey, man, I'm 50-50 on showing the information. God. <laughs> That's like a, adult talks. <laughs> How quickly do you check your emails, whatever that means? <laughs> oh, yeah. I still don't get that. I still don't Neither get that. Neither do I. <laughs> he, he had claimed that he had previously sent people emails, and then they came back and said, oh, my, my email was hacked, so your information got out. So oh, that's yeah, what he was he trying to trust. claim. Yeah, yeah being leaked. Yeah, like, be fast. Didn't trust. Mm. yeah so he shows uh, to a, to a nothing off the table interview, and he knows exactly what they're going to ask him because that's the biggest topic, and he has nothing prepared to prove anything. Mm. And yes. that makes him look guilty enough. He knows exactly what he's getting into, and he has absolutely zero proof. Outside of, I give him this a piece of paper that says bills on it. (laughs) (laughs) Pay pay next month's bills. (laughs) Hey, that's a that's a really good point, actually. Sorry, that uh, Pescator in chat, he would have had to spend a thousand dollars on the new account before he admitted to. uh, Sorry, because he admitted to spending that much. I see you guys on chat. You guys are thinking too deep, though. I know what you're saying. We could still prove it to not be Phil. We could, right? Uh-huh. But the internet at large, if he sends the main screen website of this website, of it's down, DoorDash Demon 06 is his account, Craig and them would agree with it at that moment. Say, yep, it's, that's him. It's not there. They're not asking him to see every single screen. He can sort of send him one screenshot of that. Craig's going to believe in that moment, and a lot of people are going to believe it then, guys. I know we would dig deeper and learn that's not it, but that would be a hell of a better look than what he did now. Right. That would be amazingly better yeah. look than what he did now. It would be solid propaganda for people who aren't in the know. And th- those are the people he's trying to convince anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It would, of course, of course, Kiwi Farms would be on that in seconds, proving that it would be it not. That's not true. That's not his real account. Of course. I know that. But it would just be a great step to at least appear to be innocent, appear to be that it's not true. He just made it appear truer to a thousand percent degree. Not like he was like, well, maybe. It's like, there's no maybe anymore. If you watch that mm. and are not a rational human being, you can see a lying human being right there. And he was he was even uh, prepared to send him not even a screenshot of WWE Champions, the thing they're actually asking about. He was ready to send him a screenshot of his Apple ID <laughs> account that is linked to everything. So, you know, he was going to go above and beyond. But Craig didn't respond in time, so that's that door is closed. I, I think that's 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 Phil being Phil, though, isn't it? Saying you know, blowing it up, you know, saying saying he was going to do something above and beyond after the fact. When once he knows he doesn't have to do it anymore, I don't think that's true in the slightest. I know no, that no. may that it may be obvious to say, but like, I, I agree with Sam. Yeah. Mm. 
He was just looking for a way to not send it, and he's like, okay, that's, this is good enough. And then he didn't even show the paper on his own stream. Don't let that fact be, be missed either. He didn't even show the paper that he was going to show everyone to prove stuff on his own stream. Remember, it was the fucking thing like this? We told it like this. Yeah, yeah. Hang on right here. Bills. <laughs> Bills. <laughs> Um, anyways, that's uh, and that's never, never, one more time. I want to make sure we know this. Last chance. Hey, K. Phil. Any final words? Yeah, here's some nonsense about my wife got beat by her former boyfriend, just as a parting gift. Thanks. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Also, also, I did used to groom my girlfriend. Apparently, <laughs> <It's not laughs> throw, throw just, them both in. You know, throw, throw those both in. Just you guys throw need this both. to end the stream. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you guys later. Been real. That's just you. With a piece of shit, you literally are. That was your one second, man. Say thanks for having me. Hope to see you on stream later today, guys. You're out. You're out. But he had imagine just... dropping that and then thinking, you know, oh, just let me know when 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 you want me back. Because you know, <laughs> they, have, they have that Patreon video where he's like, I hope you guys did really well and can't wait for the next. And it's like, dude, minutes after you said that, are you fucking serious? He he spent yeah he spent his uh, decompression podcast or whatever you want to call it basically defending them he was saying how great of it he didn't feel yeah. that they were being yeah he was like oh they did an amazing job and all the dents were out there saying no man this wasn't good they they backstabbed you and he was like no it was great it was great yeah. Very and fair. then <laughs> and then when he found out that they made twenty thousand dollars in super chats apparently one of the dents told him that it was uh, less than two wasn't it yeah, it was yeah, he, yeah, yeah he said he made yeah, 19 yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> which which pisses me off because it's like why do you care whatever money that's their money is their mm. podcast none of your business you didn't agree to get a cut of it so you know anyway. uh just yeah. real quick, can i can yeah, i ask yeah. a quick question Please. Because I think I, I'd ask a few people this, and I got some really good responses, but do you think if Phil would have taken Craig and Adam, because I think Craig, Craig and Adam were trying to lure, not lure, but they were trying to get DSP to admit, to, to come yeah. clean and say, yes, I, do you think if, if Phil would have come out and been honest and said, yes, I have a problem with mobile games, yes, I spent a significant amount of money, I need to, you know, get help or whatever the case, do you think that the tractors would have kind of let up on phil or 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 giving him a bit of a pass or do you think it would have made things worse uh, i guess we could throw it around the room let's go to meerkat you first um like as always the detractors is not like a a bunch a of people mind. in the room that yeah. agree to everything so some would and some wouldn't care and some would even hate him more and that's how it always works on everything on dsp we can never agree on everything so uh, I personally, I guess I would I would respect them a little bit more. I would respect them for for being able to own up to it. But what he did was way, way more pathetic. So yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah, I guess yeah. So what's that's what's your take, personal take? Let's go to use next, Steve. I think there would be some who will still be you know, the, the the go worse. But I think most of us would at least like acknowledge that he admitted it. And be like, well done. With you know, this is like one of the things we've wanted to see you do is is acknowledge and say, yeah, I have a problem. Then now we would wait for you know to see what you do about it because it's one thing to go, yeah, I've got a problem, but it's another thing entirely to actually take steps to change that and 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 grow and you know make it better. So I think most of us though would be like, wow, well done, well done. You know, we would mm -hmm. be there would be positive feedback. There'd still be some people who'd be like, oh yeah, fuck you, let's go deeper and you know, let's still spend more <laughs> and watch your account more and. But most of us would be like, well done. Well How about done it. Darkseid, would you have any more, like, maybe Redemption Arc DSP art coming down the pipeline? What would happen to you? <laughs> I, think, I, think I'd have, I think I'd have that smidgen of respect, but I don't think it would just, like, I'd, I'd pick up and leave, and here's why. Is mm. he has been the villain, to, to, to use the, the um, sort of the arc system that we like to talk about, he mm. has been the villain of so many classic arcs that just because he begins his redemption for one of his arcs does I like now I would I I would move the goalpost as he puts it and say, okay, so now <laughs> you got to start your redemption for the other five arcs too. I like yeah. you've done more than this. I don't care until I see that you have changed in in a much broader sense than just admitting one fault. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't justify like everything else he's done. No. But it would at least be in this arc, in this storyline path it would at least be like oh well done an acknowledgement yeah now agree, deal with agree. like you know how you were with cat or how you were with panda and yeah all right sam you're the final yeah i i definitely have more respect for him uh but like i think everyone's pretty much universally said here like there's so much other stuff that you can you, he needs to be i guess accountable for and and 
just from my point of view as well, like just looking at him from the the content creator side of things, like you know, how has he has he been doing this this for fifteen years and still be like as lazy as he is, um, how, you know, and, and thinks he his business is worth all this, you know, what he thinks it is, and um, so yeah, I, I, there's still so much you can pick apart from 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 dsp yeah but, i think uh, i think it makes it funnier kind of for me like I, I would make more songs about like gambling and stuff like it's even funnier because we know it's true like you yeah. know like <laughs> i'm working on it but i still did it <laughs> yeah <laughs> like <laughs> and the, the other thing i was going to say as well is like okay so you've owned up to your um mobile game addiction but does that then uh stop him from you know, because we, we've theorized that he's addicted to, or Keemstar's uh, theorized that he's addicted to just begging in itself. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. is that going to stop? Yeah. Just like, spending. Yeah. yeah. So that's still presumably going to keep going. And, you know, because the he's, he may he may own up to the the gambling addiction or whatever you want to call it, but does it mean he's going to, it doesn't mean he's going to stop doing it or, you know, <laughs> no. so. Yeah, and the Venn diagram of DSP, this one mea culpa is so far off on the side. It's it's nowhere near yes. the center. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. He used his wife as a shield and also as a pity party oh, uh, acceptance. Exactly. That's that's the that's the most fucked up thing he did in the whole fucking interview, man. I'm not. I, that's that got me so mm. heated, man. Because he, let's first bring her up. Like we can't. I gotta take talk about my family, the shield, and then at the end, last chance, guys. Last chance. Say whatever you want. Phil said, "I have to let me let me stuff my wife in here real quick." Let me bring up her pass and stuff it inside this interview in the last five seconds. Everyone's kind of ready to go. This will be good. This is a this is a win. This is a W. <clears throat> well, the the most disgusting part of that is is that he constantly talks about how you know you shouldn't bring up his wife on his stream. She has no part in his business in his streams. Why do you bring her up? And then he's the first one to actually tell. Per I mean, I was waiting for her to waiting for him to say, you know, start talking about her medical issues or whatever, just to get yeah. some sympathy. It was pretty pathetic. I don't want to bring this up, guys. I don't yeah. want to. Yeah. And also, also <laughs> the fact that you will be like, you know, they, they, the trolls, the roomy life, they dig into everything, they go into everything and then be like, well, you didn't find out about the restraining order, yeah, did was you? a challenge, you man. Know? Don't yeah. challenge the agriculture website. Don't challenge them. <laughs> it's like that, that, uh, that message voice message we had the other day on the, the group thing where the guy was like uh, my wife she plays uh, she's you know, she's obsessed with Skyrim uh, but don't talk about my wife everyone you know yeah great call there, but yeah. it's none of your business none of your business, none of your business. Your business. my wife she yeah. works two days a week though we don't talk about that though we don't talk about her on my stream though she does like Skyrim her favorite is the thieves kill we don't talk about my wife on the stream though guys Please. <laughs> so good a great call man I'm stealing your joke 100% that was awesome uh, real quick though he did say like okay he said uh phil was in the same breath was talking about how there's more stupid people in the world than normal people and that's why people that make drama content have so many views because there's more stupid people in the world than not stupid people so just i don't know if you guys knew that but that's why those people get a lot of views because a lot of stupid people has he seen and, his audience and he said uh he talked about ko gaming which i always love the ko gaming <laughs> retcons and here's a classic one boys and i've done my research here he said ko gaming didn't blow up because i didn't keep doing negative stuff he said mm. i put out a negative review it got a million views i probably made four thousand dollars on this video but what did i do after that i stopped making negative reviews Yo, so you went on holiday yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so let's <laughs> let's talk about that let's talk about timeline right so may 18th <laughs> Uh, May 18th, 2016, I believe. I'm not sure of the year. But he released the worst game I've ever played. Biggest video on his channel. Million views. Mm -hmm. June 11th. A sad, broken, parkour bore. Mirror's Edge Catalyst Review. Ju July 7th, same year. Same year. 2016 is the year, actually. What the fuck is up with LEGO Games? A rant. July 14th, just a week later. I'd rather be dead than play. Ghostbusters 2016. We're not done yet. August 20th. A buggy, boring, unfinished ripoff. Does that sound like someone that stopped doing negative reviews after their first review went so viral? Hmm. Hmm. It looks like you tried to do as many negative reviews as you could until you noticed they were having, you know, the returns were coming in as hot. Then you made the change. So just yep. don't let him retcon anything. Never let him retcon anything, guys. It's never, ever true when he retcons Speaking things. Speaking of great retcons, did you hear the one this week about the, the King of Hate? The re renaming Feasting with the King specifically? 
Oh yeah, yeah. What's that oh, gonna yeah, be? Yeah. Dining it's, with it's people. Well, well, it's it's, with he's, he's now framing it though as as people are telling me that the problem they have with it is it's my delusions of grandeur. No, idiot. It's that you called yourself <laughs> the king of hate for fifteen years. But he's framing. He's he's reframing that. Oh and yeah, it back went out on, into the world. He went on some sort of crazy rant about how Adam said he was like scared of him being the saying he was the king or something, didn't he? I'm sure he. But he never. Scared. But he never once said hate. Like he's 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 subtly trying. Not not all that subtly. If you're not a dent, but he's he's reframing it. That's really what it was. And I'm sitting there laughing, going like, "God damn, man! It's I mean, it's not going to work." But kudos to you for trying, I guess. Mm. What's, he, like, what's he actually really in it, Phil? Too. Feasting well, with Phil, uh, but they have no, to no, choose no. for him. That's the best part. Yeah, they have to choose. Of course, they have to choose. They're, we're going to do it together, you guys. Oh, dude! Today, this week, he said, "Okay, Listen. members, what do you get with your members?" Well, what don't you get? He literally said that. He literally <laughs> said that. What don't you get? <laughs> That's the fucking used Freedom car salesman. Quality <laughs> content is the answer. <laughs> All right, guys. We don't want you to be a member of our channel. What don't you get? <laughs> All right, we have to talk about it. before we get into the art contest. We should get into as ASAP. Uh, I do want to, we have to mention uh, Phil's new religion, Meerkat. I'll let you set this up. Mm -hmm. Phil's oh, has found dude. a new religion that uh, is dude. is going great for him. Go ahead. <laughs> so the dude had his uh, React style event, as he likes to call it, and he had a video that was about basically how to deal with negative people in your life. <laughs> but it was from like um, a Muslim preacher, let's call him like that. Hey, Mom. Yes. And he went through maybe half the video. Uh, the the progress bar in the bottom said that he watched like probably seventy five percent of the video in advance because he knew he was gonna agree with it, and uh, he he agreed with it a lot. So <laughs> there you go. That's that's my take on it. He agreed with it a lot. Now and he, he also is said, I didn't now. watch this before, though. He said, I did not watch all this before. He said that as well, even though we yeah, can see the did. review bar. So, uh, <laughs> makes sense. And, and it summarizes was, uh, his response by just saying, wow, that never happened to me, because he just said that over and over and over, as if that was adding to it somehow. Yeah, that, that video was like, regardless of the religion context, it's a video that applies to literally every single person on this planet. Yeah. You exactly. have someone negative in your life. This is how you deal with them. And this, this yeah. was basically like an advice video, except the dude was reading from the Quran, which is yeah. OK. He was it's speaking like, Muslim. Yeah. yeah. And he was <laughs> speaking Muslim. Yes. Quote unquote. Didn't he actually go out of his way in the video? Maybe I'm confused, but I feel like he actually said something like, I have a personal because because of who I am and my history on the Internet, oh, yeah. I can deliver blah, blah, blah. And it's like it, it, this is fucking universal. It's universal. Yeah, it's, this, it's like went, listening to an like, astrologer. It's just no. like generalizations. It doesn't sound like anyone here. Does that sound like anyone you know? <laughs> that's what he did. Literally like everyone. Kind of yes, that's kind of the point. <laughs> <laughs> There's he a sick Fidel that... out there called Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Smack my coochie and love him. <laughs> he went on there. He was he, he devoured this bait. By the way, whoever just suggested this video knew exactly what they were doing. I don't know why you give Phil money, but you knew exactly what you were doing with this, and you knew he would turn this into the how can I relate this basic idea of people, you know, having criticisms of me to me. It sounds like me, right? Sounds like me. It happens to all of us. But anyway, I have to say, I am fun. a bit of a fan. Since the Decepticon invited me on his stream, I've become a bit of a fan of seeing how like subtle people are with it. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it'll be a video about just something really subtle. Obviously, something oh, like yeah. gout, you know, I should treat your gout. He's, he's going to skip that. He's going to get it. But, like, the more subtle ones, like that one about forgiveness. That was The that Brian was Zane though. cooking video was fantastic. And, Sam, I appreciate yeah, that, yeah. You got, that you got the inside track on that one, too. Or, sorry, <laughs> Sam. Fucking Steve. Jesus Christ. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, he's just bad with cooking in general. But, yeah, yeah. Just rest, wrestling and food. Wrestling skip and to food the food. One yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> British style host, do you want to bring up any certain clips no. you might want to share? No, I don't. Can't no, think no, what you'd afraid. be uh, referring. I will say, like we thought we had it bad with the um, oh, I forget the channel name now, but the the game review that you got like ten seconds Z into zero spots. punctuation. Zero, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was bad enough. Uh, but um, that was yeah. too dry. Yeah, it was too, too dry. British. You too called British. a lot of. Sh <laughs> No, he, he literally said the, that Yahtzee was too British for his taste. The dude is Australian. <laughs> no, he lives in Australia. He is British. Oh, oh he's yeah. British? He okay, to, okay yeah, my bad. He moved to Australia, so he does live there, but now he's British. Oh, God. Yeah. British. Frozen. But uh, the, the whole point was that he disagreed with the video because he sucked the Callisto Protocol's dick. 
and uh, Yahtzee didn't yeah. like it for reasons that he expressed in the review, and he didn't want to sit through it and try and debunk it, so he made up a fake fucking stupid reason to skip it. Yeah, too bro- too British, too dry. See you later. <laughs> He's white and American, he just doesn't get it. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like most of these issues that he has are because, like... Wordplay, sarcasm, innuendo, these things are like quite common in British humor that, that you know, especially with like wordplay and innuendo, we love a bit of like double meat, double entendre, but mm-hmm. he's very lazy. So he just wants to sit there and watch and have it explained to him. Whereas with stuff like that, you have to be like actively thinking and, and following on to get the joke. Like the sketch that was sort of dancing around now because it was really fucking infuriating. <laughs> he couldn't follow along with it because it involved like, Try to keep it up with wordplay. It, mm. It's it's a wordplay gag. It's all based on the misunderstanding of somebody saying something, and he got mad that he couldn't understand what they were saying. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah me and just... Meerkat, you guys want to talk about this? Me and Meerkat can dip out. Yeah, yeah. you guys want to go for a piss. Uh, I just want to say D- DSP is what is what laugh tracks were made for. He is the type of person. <laughs> that they were oh yeah, great point. That's like oh, I'm supposed to laugh here. <laughs> Love it reminds this me game. of that old what is it the, the the it's always sunny in Philadelphia episode where they're like recording their life and playing laugh tracks. They're like, why are you doing that? Well, because we have to let people know when to laugh. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's DSP. You have to let him know. Mm-hmm. Question from Ian Moreland: What's my favorite king? My favorite king: uh, Hate Arthur or Herod? Herod. Uh, my favorite king is Arthur, probably, of those three. Of the ones I've experienced, the rule of. Uh, thanks for that question. Uh, real quick, uh, Baduti, since you obviously, you have to watch more shit than probably all of us for your channel creation. Uh, any moments that we missed here that you want to talk about from the React uh, event? From uh, his React event? Yes, yeah, the one that happened yesterday. Uh, uh, the, the only thing was uh, I was shocked well not shocked i i i, I should never say shocked but <laughs> surprised i was surprised that dsp would take a segment from an imam talking about essentially turning the cheek when someone says something bad to you or or, or is mean to you you should wish them luck i guess uh, salam alaikum you should wish them peace <laughs> and just be on their way and he and he was sitting there nodding his head saying, yeah, that's a great message. Words do hurt. Yes, yes, I've been, I've been attacked for, you know, I've been attacked constantly. And, 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 and instead of taking that beautiful message of turning the other cheek and wishing people peace, he used it to bash Keemstar for like two minutes right after that. <laughs> and I'm like, really? That's what you're going to take out of this? Is how, how Keemstar mistreated you? The gentleman just told you to say peace. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and then of course he tried to make you know he he tried to make everything humorous. He he started kind of making fun of the guy speaking Arabic and then English so quickly. He's oh, like, oh yeah, oh, well geez. amazing! Whoa, this guy's genius. That's so incredible. Two languages. For, Who does that? Yeah, for Phil, it's too hard to understand. <laughs> that there are people that have multiple. I myself, I, I speak multiple languages. I can speak Spanish and English, and Whoa, I can. Baller alert. I can, has, has, I can switch. <laughs> Hasn't Phil said he can speak Spanish? <laughs> no, no, wait, no, no. He's only like in high school, I think. Or dude, something. dude, he's he a knows clip. Latin. Oh, yeah, that's all, yeah that's Latin, 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 Latin. Oh, he, yeah. he can understand Latin. He can't speak it, but he can understand it. And other languages, he can understand a little bit because they come from Latin roots. Mm. He literally said, he's, "You gotta love an argument that you can't prove." <laughs> that's great. I mean, and then I, he's like, "Wow, this I've guy can to... speak two languages. Amazing." <laughs> I mean, I've gone to Italy. I've gone to Italy, and then certain provinces in Italy. Like if you're down more in, in like Sicily, uh, mm. it's very close to Spanish. Like you, you, you. Uh, a lot of the Spanish and yeah, Italian. Like Romans languages. Yeah, Romance languages. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Oh, man, I can understand. I, I can't speak it. If someone got asked me to say something in Latin, any word, I'll just say one, two words in Latin, please. That's what I would want to hear Phil say. Just two. He's going. I've realized why he struggles with it because they're Romance languages, and he's married. Uh, brilliant <laughs> but a boom that's why we got steve the here intellectual gag i've ever done <laughs> oh yeah that's right, right. super if you guys, yeah if you guys he, want to know i'm 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 I'm, ha- I'm half spanish half portuguese okay okay yeah. ah cool whoa whoa no need to dunk on us all right yeah, yeah. come on so nowhere near cool. as bad as that but i do want to point out maybe my favorite subtle part of the react was um the the tekken 8 the jack 8 trailer where here's mr professional fighting game player and the best he's got is just poorly commentate over that basically just say what's happening in the video oh, look <laughs> at that mix up kicked him up against the wall 
what did juggle that's great and i'm like jesus christ dude you're supposed <laughs> to know something about this dude i i can't i rarely show stuff this hard but cat rollers videos about following phil doing fighting games are 100 percent worth watching it if you don't know about fighting games mm. what what they do is like what they they show when the the opponent does a move right mm-hmm. and they can like count like let's see how long it takes phil to react to this right so just counting the frames, counting the frames, counting the frames. It feels like I was pushing it the whole time. But it's like literally they count how long they did not push it. It's so awesome, man. Cat Roller's legend. <laughs> just follow the channel if you're not. I feel hard for Cat Roller. Yeah. That's <laughs> him. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say what Super Jiffa said. Uh, he literally sang a verse from the Quran and Phil reacted, oh, he can sing as well. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's react content, dude. This is where his content's going, by the way. He said yeah. it again yesterday that... Uh, Content is going towards React content. That's where the goal is to be those like, you know, Sir Moist in them that can watch whatever the fuck they want and get a million views because they're awesome opinions and jokes. But mm. he's missing speaking that part. Of which. <laughs> speaking of fucking... Sorry, you go, Mika. Yeah, speaking oh, no, of you go, me. Steve. Okay. Steve I was going to bring Cat. you back to fighting games. I was so. going to bring you back to React content. <sighs> so yeah, much DLC. Let's, let's choose... fight it out. <laughs> no, go, go ahead, Steve. So much I DLC here. I purchased Meerkat's DLC. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Meerkat. You first. <laughs> well, this is kind of a long one. Because uh, he sent out a formal invitation to Wings of Redemption, also oh, yes. known as Jordy Jordan, to be in his chat during the reaction to Wings of Redemption documentary part two, mm-hmm. where, quote so unquote, it gets it. worse for Wings. So uh, <laughs> DSP made a formal invite for Wings to not join him on stream, but to instead be in his chat. So he could respond to all the criticism, and Phil is gonna listen. Uh, he's gonna hear him out. <laughs> and yes, in the ch- say, you you went over the far the main point too far. In the chat, yes, in mm. the mm-hmm. chat, that Wait, is where they want. It. That's where <laughs> they want wings to be, in the chat. And they gave permission for wings to be in the chat, which I, I'm sure is very much appreciated. You guys, we've all given you permission to be in this chat, of course. That's why you're all allowed to be here. Yes, they're nice, but... fuckers. <laughs> yeah, we can take that away at any moment. He's allowed to be in chat to share his opinions. So how would that work? Let's pretend like Wing said, like, yeah, I killed a cat, whatever, you know, the stuff he said in the past. I killed a cat under a, a bucket and left him there for three weeks. And they died. Wings, you want to say something? Okay, he's, he's writing. Responding, you guys. He's writing. Hold on. <laughs> oh no, he wasn't sub for twenty four hours in advance. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. oh, God, yeah. <laughs> we'll do this again tomorrow, guys. <laughs> what the fuck, man? This the that thinking is literally that's very very special, very well, I, very special. Well, I think the first question we have to ask is: Will Phil gift? Uh, Jordy A. Oh, no, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> that nonsense. <laughs> Zero chance that happens. The question is Has Phil actions, ever man. gifted anyone a uh, membership? He's, He's never like, done it no. in public, Sam. He doesn't allow him to do that. He like, can't. He can sign into a stock account and do it. Yeah. I suppose you can't do it on YouTube anyway, can you? But okay, but even so, he prefers Twitch, anonymity. He sends five dollars to people through the mail and says, "Use this to sub to your favorite YouTuber." Consequences of actions, pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Stolen joke. Best pastel pill. Pastel iron pill. I'll, your legend. I'll bet. Right, Phil cannot comprehend. Kind of like deal with the idea of having somebody else on screen now because he watches that interview back, and when we're not talking about like how bad it was for him, we're all talking about what Adam did what craig did we're talking about yep. them and he's like why are you talking about them you should be talking about me and the good job i did so if he's ever like sharing a stream with wings that's bad but if wings is ever in his chat oh that's fine you know we can talk yeah you just fine chill with us but if you're on screen with him talk to him you because people are just gonna be talking about wings it's got wings on wings is talking to phil you know it's so you don't want to share the spotlight again it's it's not like wings is like very positive towards phil at all either like that's it's not like Wings is some big Phil fan. I'm a supporter of Phil. He's not. So like he can't. I guess he can't risk any questions. Like, whoa, how was that interview, Phil? Like, it, Phil literally is locked now that he can't do any interviews mm-hmm. except with like pre-approved people that are what? Who who's left? Who is left? He tried with Review Tech USA. That didn't go well. That didn't go well for that 30 minutes to say you look what I've done to improve myself. I reached out to Review Tech USA because his daughter was sick and I was looking for pity. An hour Vutech ago. said no. An hour ago, yeah. <laughs> and Vutech... him an asshole an hour later. Oh, an hour yeah, yeah, yeah. later. 
It, yeah, I think I guess, Rich is, it, is blocked Nazism. again on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do- hey, sick daughter, get the fuck out of here. I don't give a shit about that. That's what DSP is saying. If you can't, if you can't say sorry to me, fuck you and well, your sick daughter. Uh, you can well, file sick daughter right next to dead Benny. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this this is actually a twofer because okay, yeah, Phil did extend the the, the olive branch, right? And Review Tech USA, what he did in return was he did a super chat, so he gave him ten dollars and basically said, was he planning to do a marathon on uh, celebrating the May first anniversary of the incident? Yeah, yeah, and that's what triggered everything. But he did give him ten dollars, so yeah, it's a joke that a normal human being would be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Move on." Mm. But but nope, nope. Sick daughters, be fucked. What we said uh, the other day: bat- battered wives get anything? fucked. What's under? <laughs> well, what won't he do for you know? Anyways, I shouldn't have said battered wife. We we know that there was a restraining order. We don't know what that entailed if anything actually happened we know there was a training order meth bear found it blah 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 disclaimer disclaimer we don't know the truth anyway yeah, there's there's a lot of asterisks on that yes one. So, asterisk yeah. asterisk asterisk yeah for sure all right we should get to the art stuff because you see what time it is we should get to the art stuff now we have 30 minutes left to get to this art show dark sea to fill and of course duty we want your opinion as well we have to make a big decision here boys what is going on dark sea give us the voting updates everything please the balls yes, are dangling don't... in your court now <laughs> Uh, wow, that was terrible. Um, so I am checking the <laughs> checking the results right now. Actually, let me refresh this. Sam, I'm assuming that you are capable of pulling up our top four where they sit right now. Um, actually, I should ask the question: Winner should should we cut this off at some point so that uh, we mm. lock these in? What do you think? Yeah, we do need a lock at some point. We I mean, I guess I'm it. locking oh, it in right now. Still open. It. Submissions are still. Oh, you never told me. Are they? Um, so You're as of right now, uh, Sam, you want to pull up number five for me? Yep, number five. Number five. Right. Number okay. five. Okay, there this is definitely a Gundam style. <laughs> it feels like the most appropriate thing. And, oh and I will God. say I, I tried to keep my opinions to myself for the most part on this, but being <laughs> being both a big Gundam fan and a big it's a Gundam fan, this felt beautiful to me. Um, yeah. So the MGS zero four bag gout is. <laughs> there are there are Gundam references in this. There are Phil references in this. I love everything about this one. And yeah, one thing to note is we also have some creative license. Like if we think we can step it up a notch, not too crazy changing anything, of True. course. But like this, for absolutely, will require a swelled up gout encrusted foot here, right? I mean, this is this is elementary school so can you stuff see here. The crystals? Uh, are can those you gout see the crystals? crystals? Oh, they are the crystals. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought well, it has I, okay. that being said on it as well. I missed it. I, missed I think it. we're going to just what we need yeah. is buy off from the chat that we can do whatever the fuck we want. Um, yes. Yeah. No. We and no, but we'll, we're, we our, goal, our goal is to make the coolest thing possible. I'm sure everybody's on board with that. That's that's a legendary that's a legendary entry for sure. <laughs> MGS04 bank count. He's riding, like he's the riding a mechanical cat. cat. It's just oh. And you know the Gundam is would be probably hyped about this. It's a, oh, yeah. I think it's oh, yeah. it's a it looks like a horse. It, it looks like a robot. I'll say that, dude. I don't want to be too toxic. Okay. Like a, no, no, no. okay. <laughs> a, a very particular horse with a beautiful red pompadour. Um, and even you even got you even got <laughs> Jasper Haro. I mean, everything about this, the bubble wand, like this is yeah. this is this weird, beautiful mm-hmm. marriage of mobile suit Gundam and Dark Side Phil that I didn't think was possible, but I need it in my life now. And it's Gundam be hype, sign, uh, hype, man. That Gundam will be extremely hype about this because this is up his wheelhouse. You know, the, yeah. he does like Gundam and do those fit paint those figures. So yeah. I love that. Maximum Support weight pay me kinetic, kinetic, kinetic <laughs> heavy this earth is, trotter. Yeah. <laughs> this is almost perfect, but it, yeah. it's missing a burger. Okay, we, what's, that's the kind of stuff we can add. We could have. There's you know, our asterisk right there. Yeah, add see? burger. Could be coming out the mouth of the burger. We know that. We'll see. But let's go to our next entry. Keep that in your mind, gentlemen. All uh, right. Uh, next one is actually number six. Uh, one right after yeah. it, if you would please. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, this, this is, is a great yeah. entry, great idea, great yeah. idea. It's, it's straightforward. It's Simple. clean. Thank oh. you for uh, this. Was actually, I believe, this was found on Twitter. I don't know, Alt. Did you find this or someone? Yeah, no, someone sent it to me. It was a diff- Someone sent it to me. Someone else just did it to a different streamer. Like said, look yeah. what I made. This dark side yeah. Phil thing. And uh, of course, that's why I think personally, this is my. Sh- uh, this is a great entry. But we have to step this up. Right, yep. there is too much here. Snort sex has to be added. Uh, gout or crusted foot has to be added. State mm. gamer shirt has to be added. Two, t- you know, man boobs have to be added. This needs some alterations. He's got trainers people. on. He's got yeah. trainers on. They yeah, need to no, come they off. Can't, gone. We could do New no. Balance or pure feet. That's it. That's what I'm going. Or slippers. <laughs> or slippers. Thank you. The, the warning has to be changed. So it says warning choking hazard. We have to <laughs> reference about him choking. You know, 
<laughs> Choking Bacon himself. Hazard. No, so here's the other thing I like. Token his little PP man. <laughs> okay. And Doogie's that's... touching on this without thinking about it. We Choking just had package submitted. Okay. And I think that's real. I, I there's there's something nice to that. I think there's definitely a way for us to work out a package with this thing. Yep. And uh, yeah, there's just it's it's more it's more opportunity for memes for jokes to to blow this thing out. So I would say if we did this, that the first thing I would do aside from just that asterisk of we're going to add stuff is I'd be like, okay, we got to figure out how to how to source this package, make all that work, get a good design. But that's that's totally within the realm of possibility. Okay, so keep that mm. in mind, guys. This could be packaged, would be included in this figure if this is our one we choose. And yeah, totally. hat uh, needs to be added fast. Go ahead, I, I do have a comment about this. This is uh, very marketable as well because we also have to think about we're going to put it up on eBay, help Jasper's Angels, so we got to have something as appealing as possible to a wider audience. Yes, Because the Gundam point. one, I don't know anything about Gundam, so to me it seems a little bit oversaturated with, with mm. content. And this is just simple, straight to the point. Like Darcy said, it got packaging on it, so it's more marketable. Yeah. I think that's the yeah. thing about it being a Funko Pop, though, is if you go too crazy with it, then it it, it does it becomes something other than a Funko Pop, doesn't it? Like, that's, they're that's just a good, great point. Great point. Yeah. That's why I feel like accessories is the way to go with this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Accessories. Yeah. Accessories. Accessories. Yeah. Accessories. 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 Yeah, sorry. yeah, no, that's an excellent point, Mirka. That's actually why I, that's why I went out of my way to point out how much I was fanboying over the Gundam references so that everyone can filter my response <laughs> through that <laughs> because I knew I couldn't contain it. But that makes it very niche. It makes that one very yeah, niche. Yeah. And okay. and I think I think the the not for children under five needs to get changed. It's to say not for adults over eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the, you get, the jokes come. The jokes come quickly. So we can just keep that in your mind. This is a starting point. Like you guys said, the so Sam's right though. You don't want to go too crazy. I think this is way too bare bones for me though. At this right, like that it hairline is now. needs to come back. Hairline, snort sacks. I, I can't in the beard. accept it. Yeah, yeah. some ants. Goldie is way too thick. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's go on to the next one, though. Please. All right. right. Next up, uh, number 16, please. Number 16. Okay. 16. Sorry to everyone that I'm skipping over here. Yeah. <laughs> nice scroll there. I, I, have a, I have a plan to do this on stream at some point to go through yes. all these. I think it's worthwhile to do it. Um, so number 16, it's the, it's the guy, really GUI, him. genetically upgraded YouTuber. <laughs> this one I was in love with um, from the second I saw it, and I would say it's definitely my top three. It was probably my favorite for a while. I think some other stuff kind of swept in and, and uh, took my heart, but this thing's great. <laughs> God, there's so many opportunities here. This, this person. Like, in the car. The cut out bit. Yes, man. This person, whoever made this, man, you went Split all out. So I definitely appreciate it. I, I see you. I see how much work you put into this. I appreciate, it, man. That's incredible. I love Send it. enemies flying with powerful crystal kick. <laughs> Dude, I appreciate the fuck out of this one, man. Is, is this I actually saw the news last year and thought ALT will love this. What's is that? that what? Is this the back of the packaging? Yes, and it's the we, back. We can figure in the front. Okay, yeah, yeah that, we can figure out the front. Idea. But this is yeah. yeah. in the corner with the zero to three in yeah. circles. Oh, <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> dude, this this dude, I've enjoyed this one. My, I I really enjoyed seeing this one. The, the you know, beautiful. don't miss the cockroach, the cockroach arms and stuff. I mean. Man, this is really good. This is yeah, so I look at this and think to myself, all we'd really need to do, I mean, I think this thing we could knock out of the park. All I, What I would want to do is find somebody who owns a vacuum forming table, if you know, you know, so that we can make a blister card and actually have this thing like blistered like a proper action figure. That would be my ideal take on this. Um, mm -hmm. We could figure that out, but because uh, I, I look at this and it's like the the beauty part is that package art that side's already done. I almost think we should just if if we pick it, we should ask the the artist to just work on a front side for us yeah. and see how that goes. Um, but I, there's a lot of potential in this. I think this thing would be great. Awesome, I love awesome. it as well. It looks great. It, he has the little hatchet that it's kind of a a niche DSP meme, but it works mm -hmm. great. I yeah, love it. yeah, definitely. If you know, you know. That's one of those, right? It works for normies, but if you know why he has an axe there, it's even better. The side of harness. I love that. I love the neck phones. The neck phones neck are a perfect yeah. touch. Yeah. <laughs> I will say this as well. I, I, I am almost certain, just because the way this has been drawn, the intention is to have that ooze launcher be a piece of plastic, right? Like a yeah. classic action figure launcher. I, I debate whether we should put in a plunger and actually source some ooze for this thing so that uh, so someone could actually squeeze some ooze through there. <laughs> There. that's well, that's the toy little, designer in me like 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 goo of that kids i mean get. it'd be super easy to buy a jar of ooze it just come down yeah. to how we pack i don't know i'm like i i look at this this is 100 my wheelhouse this is what i do for a living every day so i'm like i, I have all these ideas yes. <laughs> I think it's well, that's why we got darks we got the best of the best here yeah. this is a dude that does it professionally it's no joke we don't have jokes on here 
So yeah. we got Booty and, and Dark Sand here. Yeah, no joke. If you're gonna add a plunger, <laughs> you should have an optional accessory of a clog sink. <laughs> we we there's, yeah, like there's a, bro, a lot of places to go. There's merit the to go deluxe on all these. That's the other thing I love about them too. There's there's definitely ways we can go deluxe. Um, so our next one is yes. let me actually make sure I'm not shortchanging anyone here. No, I believe it is number twenty five. Is that really him? I love that. That's right. him. That one's right up my alley. Hey, killer! One. Look, we're scrolling by. <laughs> There we go. By some, oh God! Oh, so God. Derek, Derek, the hand of shame. It it oh, it wow. started off. It started off slow, and it made a run up. It made a run up in the in the last <sighs> like six hours or so. Um, oh, it's an art piece. <laughs> this <laughs> is one of those least. ones where yeah. I feel bad. Well, I just feel like it should not exist. <laughs> it's it's scary. I will say, whoever sent this to me, this is this is one of the handful of ones that I got, and I I did most of my checking um, checking the emails at night. I'm oh, sitting alone in this dark room, and I'm like, "Oh God!" Did you this hear noise in the door? <laughs> oh, Can you explain what's going on here, Darkson? Your artistic opinion, like, what is this? It says the hand of shame. So, where, is the hand the body? Or it's like a, well, yeah, no. the, the hand is this big, like tree trunk looking thing, okay. and then there's like the two legs next to it. it it's sort of like um, the uh, charges from Left for Dead, where there's like one hand yes. really, really big, one arm okay, really big. Okay. My, my take on this it, it was that his big. hand, his hand grew disproportionately to the rest of his body because yeah. he might use it for something a little more often than yeah. most of us do. Yeah. I think uh, that, that I think was my a, take. Similar to the the quagmire. Uh, you know, just discovering the yeah, inter yeah. internet on Family Guy, and he's got this huge, muscly arm. <laughs> and then you've got like the, the regular oh, yeah. left Sam, arm. And... Sam was disappointed in himself. He's sort of doing that. As far as what's going on in the lower yeah. half of the body, I'm I'm lost. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I'm lost. They, they okay. look like monkey feet for for yeah. for, for climbing uh, trees or something. Oh god, yeah, this is nightmare it. stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah, some real like Bloodborne level interpret. stuff. Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah, there's, the... there's a definite like Bloodborne. Uh, mm. vibe going on, isn't there? Like, yeah, it's very odd. But See, like, to be fair, we, we could absolutely we could make an absolute nightmare of a statue out of this. I mean, I don't know yeah. what you do with accessories and stuff, but this this thing could go could go full McFarlane and just be a, a fucking uh, nightmare. It it looks like <laughs> something shit, from it looks like something from Deep Space. I, yeah. I don't know why it reminds me of something from Deep Space. So we can put if we can put a yamaka on the top. Oh <laughs> wow! <laughs> We're We're shout out to misery team. merchants. Derek loves tea virus. <laughs> oh <laughs> god. <laughs> I, I uh, real quick before we go to choosing, um, do you mind, Darcy, sharing with one a written one you really like? Because I don't want to say like fuck everyone that wrote one. I want to get one like what was the best one that was written so we give yeah, them a no. chance. I was gonna say actually, I know everybody took a look at these. I'm pretty sure you did. And like, if we yeah. want to talk about a couple of favorites, like that, I because that I were surprised didn't go a little um, didn't go a little further. Yes. I will actually say. I love, and maybe it is just the toy guy in me, but uh, we had two different submissions for a Mr. Potato Head variant, and mm -hmm. there's something I loved about that. Again, it's kind of clean, simple, uh, marketable, to, to Meerkat's point, being yep. able to open that little hinge on Mr. Potato Head's ass and pull out all of the, the accessories is very, <laughs> it's just, it's very Phil. Yeah. Um, so there was something I really loved about that one. So but we should throw that in the mix. I know we can have a picture of it, but yeah, Mr. Potato Head Phil would be so... Those accessories we could talk about for weeks, deciding what accessories to go with them, you know, and the, the well, low we do. If you want to, we we've got two of them. We've got twenty. Twenty was actually I, I know for a fact that was Kid Flynn's take, and I apologize, I cannot remember right offhand who threw in the drawing for number fifty. Number fifty is like the perfect realization. In fact, I look at number fifty and I see an almost perfectly executed toy design board. So I see you. We need to have a conversation because I think there might be another another professional in my industry. In the, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that looks See? like that's God. that's hype, man. That's hype. That's very hype. Yeah, yeah, right. You waving that you wave that in front of an executive to get your idea across. That's that's mm. there's something there. It's fantastic. Uh, can we also get a, a look at the the piggy bank one? That was I think is is super underrated, and Number I think it would work fantastic. Damn. Yeah, we're the host. We can just, you know, choose the twenty one. Yeah, yeah look, look, if we got time, I was I was hoping we'd we'd pick out a handful of these. Yeah. And and, yeah. and no criticism to anyone. You talking to a man who can't who can't even draw uh stick figures. So yes. all of these look yeah. wonderful. <laughs> I actually appreciate how many people came out and took the time to actually write up their ideas and stuff. Like people yeah. went deep. In fact, I there I was There's I was mentioning before the show, mm -hmm. but there was somebody who actually who sent me a two pager along with a, a I think it was an an Excel spreadsheet where they planned out 
out an entire line of DSP figures, like all the different characters and their accessories. Wow. Legend, like, legend. It's fucking amazing. And I want to find I want to find the best way to lay that out and share with the community because it was a lot of time and effort, and I think it's it merits a little yeah. shine. And Dark, so you said you're going to a stream of this too, sharing all these. None of them, everyone's going to be shared at some point in some way, right? Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, want to yeah, find yeah. some time. I want to sit down and just go through these and have a laugh. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I definitely want to be there too if I can. I quite awesome. like the title of the the one below it: Moby Dick style and robust merchant of Venice. Well, those were like, two. Somebody sent two title. different <laughs> ideas, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call me Ishmael, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord so much talent i know man all right uh so go, go to go to um could you please go to the one with the the pencil holder if you don't mind that was uh 24 24 please samuel yep 24 did go. we talk oh, about good. the timbo piggy bank we talked about that right no we scrolled oh, you didn't really talk about it. we, we oh, showed wow no. i'm oh, sorry it. this one's good too it was a different one mm. it was the incident piggy it was the incident pencil holder i think higher up this one's oh, good okay. too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, number seven. That one is uh, is is titled "Beat Your Demon." Yes, yes. Just because <laughs> oh, wow. it's so topical right now, "Beat Your Demon" is very hot right now. Yes. Extremely hot right now. Oh, I God. think that's that's oh. a great desk piece you have on your desk, right? Like, don't I know it looks weird. He's holding that little hole. That's where the pencil goes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So is it head- is it a sharpener? Because that would be awesome. Like, oh, I can oh, oh, head, yeah. His head, oh, moving, man. His head moving back and forth. I wonder if there'd be a way to with... install a sharpener. That would be very interesting. I mean, there is, but how? What the best way to do yeah. it? Yeah, like that. I think that's pretty hype right there. Mm. This was pr- my personal. I'm kind of a, kind of wish it was rated right higher in the votes, but I think that is a a thing you'd be proud to have on your desk. Personally, <laughs> that, yeah, I, that, that is an <laughs> excellent one, and that's yeah. very like it has some utility to it, kind of yeah. like mm. with a with a piggy bank. It has yes. some, something you can use it for. So I, I'm really on board with this one. I love yes. it. I, agree. Uh, I have yeah. Quick question: ahead, Did anyone submit a a, a uh, incident style? Oh, this, this is it. oh god, duty! There's so well, there's so kind of, so yeah. many people had oh, write ups about where the comes load out. went. To, oh yeah. yeah okay, oh, stuff comes yeah. out style. <laughs> okay. Incident Jesus. style. Yeah. Duty's very tactile. He wants to. He wants to coming out. He really needs. Well, that. on on that note, because I think it's been brought up multiple times in multiple different streams, it was our first submission, and it's batshit crazy, and I love it for it. Uh, oh, it was yeah. number because because I've got these all out of order. It was number forty nine. Forty nine is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's oh, this cool one. Play. Yeah. Oh yeah. Our, our very first submission got oh, on yeah, it right yeah, away. Yeah. 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 <laughs> This one, I was like, oh, fuck. Mm. Like, this is what the first one we got. I was like, how deep can we go, man? Yep. God yep. damn it, man. Somebody had this rendered on their PC, and they were just waiting to use it for yeah. something. <laughs> Absolutely. Copy, Copy Absolutely. and paste. <laughs> All right, boys. They were like, I came up with this joke a while ago. I've not used it because I've never had an opportunity, but here it is. Now I'm taking it. <laughs> this oh, could also be a, about it uh, sorry, a pencil holder type of thing. Oh yeah, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Could be. Oh yeah. Could be a, right fish, a, fish, a fish tank kind of, you know, uh, decoration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you put it oh, so many yeah. options here. <laughs> You're gonna have bubbles coming out of the mouth <laughs> in the <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, This would be a sick <laughs> bubble blower. Yeah. Both that good. And wow. and see if you can put a, a a speech modular and have it go bubbles, bubble, or, or stick these fucking bubbles up your ass or something. That would be nice. <laughs> Every once in a while, random. Shut yeah. the fuck up about the fucking bubble. Okay. So I, I will point <laughs> yes. out that while I'm looking at some of these text ones, uh, number yes. one, everybody was it was insanely respectful, which was fucking weird. I, I really expected people to just be having. I don't. I don't. I don't know what I expect, but everybody was was super nice about it. And I think I made a joke even early on on Twitter about um, not having received a sir yet, and I was inundated <laughs> with emails that started with sir. <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> Great. All right, so is there any text one, though, you want to point out, Dark? I want to give the text people a chance. because Oh, you know, it's son tough of a to bitch. Book. Let me show the spot here. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. There's been so many of them. Um, as I read through all these the other night. Man, there was, you know, a lot of them are just describing full scenes. I will say that. Yes, I thought there was yeah. something cool about that where it, it was almost like um, – when we talk about how how ALT loves his images that are very robust and full of as many memes as possible, Definitely. one of the recurring themes, I think in three or four of these, was just Phil on the love seat, in the throes, in the moment, and then just surrounding him with references to all sorts of different bits of his history. Mm-hmm. And admittedly, I, I think there is merit to that idea of making the kind of collectible statue that he would have purchased, but making it about him and his legend. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a joke there. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Um, we. I think we should come video. Start... Oh, there is one from Super Chopper, but it's like seven minutes long. I isn't it? I think so, right? Just it's, eight, it's, it's eight minutes, and it's wonderful. It's I, I I messaged him immediately afterwards, and was like, "You're so fucking charming." It 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 almost makes me sick, um, because it's just him late at night after his stream, just riffing on shit and, and making me laugh. <laughs> And it was just for me. And he didn't even have to pay me 50 bucks to watch it. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> uh, someone in the chat said an XY, an XY access uh, bobblehead of, of Phil would be cool. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yes, we got we, we actually got a bobblehead. And, and actually speaking, which another one that's right in line with that was really good was, um, of all things, the classic um, Weebles. The weeble, Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Just oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that one, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's clean and it's fun. <laughs> okay. So, so we, we do if, have if to we make a decision come here. Come down us. to yes. like a, a a good pick for like like the finalists. Could we install a bobblehead onto it? I think the the bobblehead is absolutely perfect, especially after the interview. A bobblehead oh, yeah. is, is almost a must. I think that's. I mean, I can't. I can't think of why we couldn't on any, especially on the, the you know the the top four. Yes, I, I think that's a pretty blanket. Yes, I'm sure I'll I'll it'll bite me in the ass. There'll be some technical reason why it's hard, but we'll figure it out. All right, so I guess we should start talking about. I love that one too. Look at that. That's just a beautiful design right there above the Gundam one. That's just so, so much art there, right? Oh, the coming out. Um, yeah. Actually, so so this one, this one, the the image before it was was a write up with it, which I loved. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's my submission for the contest. A bit of a rough sketch, but I hope it gets my point across. Behold, Phil Philarius Bagarian, pig of the <laughs> prince of the Schnort Fort. Kyle of the Great Gen C, the Uncancelable, King of Hate, King of Pure Isle, King of the Weirdos and the Handicapped and the First Whales, Protector of the Three Prongs, Breaker of Ants, Father of Jasper. Dude, I, I, I love you, my friend. I love is, you. Is that a slice of pizza? No, no, or that's... Oh, oh it, it, where? Where are you talking the, about? Uh, the chest, the under the neck. Oh, no, not below oh, his this, chin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that like a slice of pizza there? I think that's a, I think that's a dirty it napkin. Should. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I think napkin, it's a dirty napkin yeah. shoved that in is, his. Uh, that is Derek shirt. on the floor, by the way. That's Derek. It's just a come, come <laughs> creation. Right, right. Makes sense, right? right? It totally makes sense to me. I hope it does. We got this far without saying come once. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got to start talking, get down to business. I hate to do it. No, wait. You mispronounced it. If you mispronounced the, a word, then you, you said puerile. It's it's not puerile. I know. You don't, you don't pronounce it like that, then. Didn't want to say. Well, it wasn't written. It was written correctly. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. Well, None of this nonsense. <laughs> All right, let's get down to biz. The brass tacks. Meerkat, give us your choice. Bro, I need a I need a refresher on all of these. Which were God the finalists? It. What so are the numbers? Be finalists again? Yeah. Yeah, so our top four were the 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 Gundam, the uh, the MGS Gout. There was the Funko Pop. Uh, okay. There was it's the guy, genetically upgraded YouTuber. That was the action figure with the ooze cannon. And then the fourth one was Derek, the Hand of Shame. Which really I think, not him. to be an asshole, but I think we can say no to the Derek Hand of Shame collectively. <gasps> I agree. I think it's I, I think it's I'm not really it's not it. optimal, right? We're, we're, yeah. we're I, I love it, but we're talk, I, I think we're talking about what makes the best all around item for our intentions here. Yeah. And I I personally love this as like a piece of art, and I'd love to put it together as a sculpt. Yeah. I don't know that it's I don't know that it's right for this. Yes, yeah, so you're a legend, my friend. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love your thinking. I love where your mind's at. I love where your head's at. But it's not right for this competition. Okay? But, so we're all saying bye to that one. Bye -bye. Let's go to the finals. Funko. Gundam. Or what was the last one? There was it's one. The, oh, guy. No, the, the, the bubble. The, 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 the gout arm guy. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> cannon. The use cannon. The cannon. The eczema cannon. Yes, excuse me. Okay. Uh, can I go first? Yes. Yep. So it's the guy is my pick because... We have already the packaging, which is very detailed. It has plenty of lore onto it. It encapsulates basically everything that we tried to go going into this competition, what we tried to achieve. I think someone would be interested in actually buying this. And I think it's a lot of fun. And the dude who did the, the design for it did an outstanding, exceptional job. Yeah. And I could also give some like uh, counter arguments against the other stuff. The Gundam is a little bit oversaturated for my taste because I'm not mm -hmm. a fan of Gundams. Uh, a little bit niche. Uh, the Funko Pop is a great idea, but still a little bit too basic. And it doesn't have too much lore. It's just like kind of DSP. But, uh, remember, though, we can but, add a little bit of lore there mm -hmm. to make it cool for us, too. So, right? Okay. I 
Okay. I think can we can we I all understand. agree that I think it comes down and maybe I'm speaking for everybody here, but it comes down to the guy and the Funko Pop. I'm I can agree with that. I'm yeah. Agreeing. Yeah. yeah. Duty. Because I love the Gundam. I, I love Gundam Wings. So. Yeah. I love both. both. I like the Funko part just because there's so much you can add, which which is which is great. But honestly, idea. yeah, honestly, the one I actually really like right now is that that pencil sharpener, just because I'm a big guy. <laughs> because, you know, and I use pencils. I actually write in pencils. I don't like writing in pens. I like writing in pencil. So I'm totally be- with duty on this one. I'm totally with them. I love the pencil sharpener idea. Yeah. It has utility and it's a fantastic design. And so he then- can act. He might. He might be able to shit the. Um- the the flakes Should too. If flakes we oh right. god, yeah, that'd be great. Um, I and <laughs> look, I, I'll bless bless you guys because that uh, I'm just gonna level with you. That makes my job hell of a lot easier, <laughs> no matter All what. Right. But um, so hang on, hang on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, yep. boys. It's extremely serious business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duty, you said your pencil sharpener right now. Yeah, make sure about that. Yeah, pencil. Meerkat was the guy until you realized that the pencil sharpener is back on board. Where well, the, are you sta- the, Where do you the stand? The problem now, is the the fan vote. The people that voted did not vote for the pencil sharpener. So in this way, if we hey, pick it, we kind hey, of bypass their vote. So that's business, not very fair. Business. They get that. They get that this is a business, man. We got to make I don't some think, tough decisions. I don't think they knew it was a pencil sharpener. I think we added the pencil sharpener. Yeah, we, point, we right? added that really. Yeah. Okay, okay maybe, maybe we can meet halfway there and just run a poll in chat. I think enough people watching right now so they can contribute their vote and see but, if the pencil sharpener is a part of the the decision making process final three yeah yes let's say it's yeah. okay Sam, samuel please make yeah. a poll should oh, this God. pencil okay. sharpener be in the final three or are okay. we just going with the final two i've i've got a really good idea for the funko pops and, and i really okay because okay please go I, we'll, we'll give you the floor here in a second steve hang on Advanced apologies like too, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. I know. Take you this serious. As a married style He's man, I'm watching. Mounting off the chair. <laughs> no, we're fine. We're fine. The, the Sunday divorce night is is always been a little softer, right? Uh, mm-hmm. It's always. Been I mean, I'm great. My post, mother-in-law came said, into town post, last night, so bust. she's doing all of the shit for me, so I can sit down here all night. <laughs> it's post bust divorce Same. line. Very soft. <laughs> okay, Steve, you had a, you had a. I'm gonna give you the platform you asked for. Go ahead. See, I think the, the thing with the Funko Pops is that there is so much potential with it. And, and my idea is that you do like the different phases of Phil. So you could have like pre YouTube Phil where he's got the trench coat and the Punisher hoodie. And then you've got like, you know, YouTube Phil. And now you've got like modern day Phil. And they've all got their own different accessories. Oh, oh, so that's good. I think that you could have the range of them on the back as well. Because I was thinking if you're doing it like packaging, you'd need them on the back and you wouldn't do with the lol cows. You'd do Phil. So it'd have to be like different Phil's from different time periods. Could you do it with interchangeable parts, kind of the way like an SHV? Yeah. Your arts does it where yeah, you're changing yeah, kinda, faces yeah. and hairlines and <laughs> shit like that. Well, I think the Funko Pops are themselves, aren't they? But yeah, if you wanted to do like a full action figure, you could have. Well, yeah, well, my, my thought was like, could you mix yeah. those worlds? Do you have your Funko Pop format, but then you allow this this way to sort of yeah, let yeah. people choose their favorite fill? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can like take the, the coat off, the, the trench coat off Punisher Phil and then put on like the Sonic hat. And <laughs> you can make your own fantasy situation where pilot. he's like, they're yeah. like, you know, he's wearing the vest, but he's still in like YouTube only mode, machinima yeah, mode. Yeah, yeah. He's the vest on. It's just a fantasy world you can create. It's incredible. Yeah. So I think like the potential of the Funko Pop ones makes me think, yeah, that one. Because that <laughs> the guy is good, but it's its own fully formed action figure, whereas there's potential with the Funko Pop one. So that's why I guess my vote. You know, People the, the Funko board. Pop makes a little bit more sense when I think about uh, the fact that Funko recently buried a bunch of them in a landfill somewhere. <laughs> so that's exactly what would happen to DSP. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Well, the, the waters are just getting muddier. They're not getting clearer. Mm. That's all I can say is Steve has just thrown an epic wrench into the mix. And uh, that is making us all reconsider every decision we made to get here. It's just, and, I really love the potato head one. And I like that you could switch him out like that. But the potato he's, head one he's adding more in. Though. He's pulling he's more back in. More Jesus, Steve, we bring <laughs> we you here for clarity. No, no, no. I gave you 50,000 for clarity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Toxic Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> toxic Avenger. <laughs> the doxing <laughs> Avenger. Nice. I love that. All right. So let's go back. I'm going to re- reset everything here. Reset the, the, the playing field. Duty, what is your pick? You're the guest. We give you full rights here to choose which one you would choose if you had the choice. Go ahead. Uh, I, I'm going to stick with mine. I, I, I'll, I'll do the pencil sharpener. But, pencil sharpener yes, is, it, is I, I, I would give it a hun- I would give it a thousand percent, two thumbs up, if when you sharpen the pencil, 
it cursed at me. Like it said, uh, you know, <laughs> stick these bubbles up your fucking ass or something, or okay. just varying. Yeah, it would be it. But yeah, that would be my choice. Okay. So Sam, has the poll been a, a, a added yet? Uh, no, sorry. Hang on. I was I was busy trying to get pictures on the screen of all three at the same time, and I put the wrong fucking That's picture fine. in Fair. the middle. So, um, I can, I, we're I getting, we're getting a flood. Of, we're about getting about a flood of the guys in chat. I'll say that the yeah. guy has had a real surge in popularity here in the last minutes. This is very high, late breaking news here. So I can okay. run a poll of I guess all four, or I think that we should ask at this point. Well, yeah, dude, or... I think we go with duty. Duty said he likes the the the, the pencil sharpener, so we put it in. Fuck it. I love Who's it too. Guess? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, with yeah. duty on that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought think... you were just gonna say let him like he's Mr. 10K. Just let him let him choose. No, let him whoa, 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 whoa. Him... whoa. <laughs> this is too serious for that. <laughs> the guy is awesome too. I love the pack. It just I'm a packaging guy. Like I would buy something just because of the packaging is really nice. I'm one of those morons. So I would see <laughs> this and just buy a whole bunch of them. Okay. Now it seems we have our our three way fatal three way the three pronged finalists. They are. <laughs> Wait till Samuel's writing with his. The guy is definitely in there. Nope. The Gundam DSP has is Funko has Pop, Funko Pop, Pop DSP, <laughs> and the pencil sharpener. So let's just go around the table one last time to say what your choice would be. Because remember, the poll is not final, right? If we if you guys make a decision we don't like, we can change it. It's kind of like DSP. It's a meme. <laughs> Uh, so let's but go. It, it counts for something, but it's not the final vote. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, it will go. It enters into the conversation. This is extremely important. We only get one shot at this, guys. I don't know if you know. Life changing experiences oh happen once in votes. a lifetime. Active, active, active. Okay, let's go. Active. Meerkat, final choice. <laughs> only choose one. Go. Final choice is the sharpener. Here is why. Allow me to explain. Go ahead. It's marketable. It's a great design. It has utility. And I can believe somebody is willing to actually buy it and help out Jasper's Angels. That's what Thank I believe. You. So that's that's it. Okay. Executive side Meerkat. I like it. To recap, Meerkat is sharpener and Duty is sharpener. That's Duty Streams. 10K subscribers. Duty sharpener, Streams. Yes. Put some respect I, in the name. I, I, I still have a lot of business contacts in my old world. Roughly about 500. I would buy one for every single one of them. And send it to them and say, this better be on your desk. If it's not on your desk, we're no longer friends. Okay. I'm going to go to Steve of the Dad. I'm still with the Funko Pop. But I think Funko Pop. the versatility of it and the potential of it is just too good. So, music, secret I like musical the idea style of different host. eras of film. Yes, <laughs> I, I like that too. Secret style, musical style host. Ooh, I've been swayed towards the Funko Pop, actually. I was going to say the guy, but I'm going Funko just because I, f- I feel like it's, yeah, versatile. I feel like there's so much you can do with it. So many, you can, you know, you could have like, you know how they had like the limited edition chaser packs, you know, sometimes where it's like, you know, like, <laughs> be one. yeah, it's like, it's like a different color or something to do that with it. You know, like, I like that. I like little things like that. So, yeah, I'm swayed towards Funko. You have, like the, the transparent one where it's like Gout Crystal Phil. <laughs> mm, yeah so i'm gonna ask yeah. dark so you have to go last but i'll go now and say i'm really stuck between funko pop is so fun because we can just keep doing more right and we could like mm. vote on like what what are we gonna do next i have no idea how much, how much money this costs to make these by the way like, like i know we have to make this one but like, is it a lot of money to create these dark sea was just throwing you I, I... Given the uh, fact that we're doing three yeah. D three D printing, it's not going to be super cheap. We'll yeah. we'll talk about that. It's not okay, going to be yeah, super yeah. duper cheap. So I want to like it. figure out like because we could do like all right, this, this what what are we going to do for two thousand twenty four, boys? Let's think about our Funko we're going to release this year. Yeah, you actually, to like, Steve's point, shit. we could do like a Funko. We could we could do a Funko mini. Um, yeah. Anyway, you know, sorry. Like you know, like you could like that. There's some legs there. The guy, yeah, I love filled. the guy. There's also some legs with the guy, though. I'm not, I'm not going to say there's not, because we could have different characters be these little evil, you know, we could have the yeah, Garrick yeah. one, we could have the Jasper one, we could yeah. have the Ants one, we could have the Woodland Creators one. I already got 12 lined yeah. up in my mind. So Funko, those are all there. But go ahead, Funko, Duty, please. Funko does, I, and I initially love the Funko, because they're just, again, I agree with you guys, you could do so much with it. Uh, Funko does something really nice with the Star Wars series. So they'll have, like, every iteration of Vader, or every iteration of Obi-Wan, and they'll mm. give you like four. They look really nice. And I could envision something like this with Phil. So you can have helicopter Phil. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> He's 
got his like, you know, like clipboard and he's in the helicopter like, business panda yeah. yeah panda phil panda you know, like that, uh, pre-stream slide where it's just like the four pictures of him <laughs> from different eras yeah. that's what i was thinking like, you know, oh, yeah. there you go so I, you know, okay, like I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to say. Day. I'm ready to say my final opinion. I, it's not going to be popular, but I, that's what I'm here for. I, I know 51 percent of you now like say the guy, and I, but I'm going to say Funko Pop for the future possibilities that it brings. Funko Pop that's for the future answer. of the brand. Yes, for future of that being said, brand and the, all the legends that are here. I think that's the best choice. But that's just my opinion. Doesn't matter. We need to go to Dark City to fill. Well, I think I, I, I was trying to keep track, but it went all over the place. I think Funko Pop wins no matter what, but I'm going to say that I have been I've been talked into it. And this is why, because, you know, I, I love I love the creativity of pretty much all these and especially the ones that we picked as the top. Mm. But there is in, in my mind, I go back to these arguments I'm making at work all the time about how simple, straightforward, easy to understand is best even in something like this. And I just think that for, for that and all the reasons you guys have talked about, about a future with this, I love that you're future planning, which is great. Um, <laughs> I think it's, fun, I think it's Funko pop because, because of the reason that Funko pops have been so successful is they are this sort of endless blank slate. We could do whatever the fuck we want with these over a long period of time. So I'm, I'm going to say Funko pop for all those reasons. And real quick for you guys, uh, I, I think I mentioned this before, but one of my many brothers, I have seven of them, one of them actually owns a comic book store. It's a pretty pretty big one Ooh. in this area, so uh, I can definitely convince him to buy a bunch of them. <laughs> well, oh we're, not, we're, 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 yeah, we, we're not we're not starting a Funko Pop business selling that's not legal. It's, it's just, a one-off. We, we, like, yeah, it's a yeah. one-off. It's a one-off. I want to point one out the difference the difference between the difference between three D printing one of these and mass producing them is is a difference of tens of thousands of dollars. I just yes. want to point that out. We are not selling these in mass to make a million dollars, right? We're doing the difference like, between like a home three D printer and a whole factory in it. Yes, we're doing one. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like to, to me, like you bring this back. I, I always try at work to bring it back to like, what's the essence of the concept? What are we trying to get out of this? And to me, the two things we're trying to get out of this is laughs for the community and and get some charity for Jasper's Angels. And the thing yes. is, this is we're gonna get our we're gonna get our charity no matter what. But we are providing a a sort of a format to have continue continuing laughs as time as time moves forward and i think that's why i like it and keep in mind we do have to talk about how to spice this fun go up it's not going to be what you see there that's too yes. that's too that's nothing not enough you could have me. a halloween run where it's all these costumes holy look shit at this. Yep. look at this yep. Yep. look at this colonel scamders uh bob <laughs> ross you get all that stuff yeah yep officer sanders could be there too. The future. Colonel That's... Colonel Scamders with his removable goatee, <laughs> like that. Just sitting in the interview. Craig. I think Craig you and guys got to think big picture in the <laughs> chat. Interview this Phil. Yeah. <laughs> interview Phil. <laughs> Somebody mentioned it in chat. You can have like the guy with proof where it's like got an accessory of a scrunched up piece of paper. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the grab it. You can grab that yeah. for the interview. So real quick to finalize it, it seems like we made a decision on Funko uh, against the wishes of forty nine percent. I want to make sure you know that you your <laughs> opinions are very valued, though. We, I agree the guy was a great choice, but it seems that we've come to the decision that Fun Guy is going to be best for Funko Fun Guy Funko Pop is going to be best for this. And I like someone commented, "This is on brand, right? Low low creativity, low effort, <laughs> right?" Plus, the As, community suggests something, and we're ignoring it. Exactly. You can't get <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and look, I'm not promising anything here and now, but I will I will say this. From the second I saw It's the Guy, I wanted to sculpt it. So I can't promise that It's the Guy won't just appear as a sculpt. Uh, just a digital sculpt that I do at some point to share with you anyway. I can't promise that's not going to happen because yes. it's great. I want to fuck with it. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, just I, I like to throw one thing out there for doing Please. the uh, the Funko Pop. We, he, it, that we definitely need the Sonic the Sonic Chew Medallion. <laughs> we need it. We need that. An accessory. Okay. okay, Meerkat. What's your what's your what are your thoughts right now? If it goes to a Funko Pop, you on board? What are your thoughts? Come on. Uh no, I don't like the Funko Pop. I think it's um one of the reasons why I think it's as popular as it is amongst uh, the rest of the panel is because it's a recognizable entity already. Funko Pops exist for everything. Okay. And I think something more unique is is more on brand even if it's not my pick for the sharpener i think the guy is way more unique mm -hmm. and has so many pieces of lore in it and it all here uh, it already has the packaging on point 
So yeah, I'm okay. still on that. I still okay, disagree so, with everyone. Okay. So that's I'm I'm god damn it you guys make me feel like i'm at work because this is it this is like 90 percent of what i do is debate these fucking decisions in a boardroom but that's pretty fucking based i'm with that it is i can't i can't ignore that and oh god damn it and again going back to the core of this there is a part of me that wants to say that wants to say why why did we let them vote if we ignore all the votes i'm with you on that i feel i'm feeling that too i'm feeling that too <sighs> Like I, I said earlier, that the votes count for the people's choice, but they don't make the final decision. Even though oh, I, I, know, I disagree I with the final decision of the panel, if there are more people than the people for the other choice, we go for that one. It's democracy. Thinking, does it? Here's the thing, guys. I'll throw it to you, Raul. If we did make the Funko Pop, and this is like you know, that being said, made it. Are we proud of that? Are we feel like that's as good as we could do? Like I don't. I, I'm kind of thinking like maybe that's not. Right, maybe that's not a good. This this guy is more in line with what we're going for. Like the details there, we take everything to the. Well, no, I do to the fiftieth degree. Right, if there's a song, mm -hmm. I'm saying Gal Crystal's in it. I'm saying Who's in it. You know, yeah. I'm saying like, is that yeah. really him? And so I, I will kinda, say, kinda, kinda from, a, from the origin, from the originality standpoint, again, I'm I'm looking at it from okay, what like my workload, what I've got to do to make this happen. Um, I mean, I can. I can have a base buck for a Funko Pop ripped off the internet in five minutes. Like, and, and I ask myself, are we really, are, are we making something original if we do that? I'm talking myself out of it now, but it's a good point. Um, fuck. All right, yeah. that's so I'm looking at it from the context of you could do all these things with it. Whereas the, the guy is it done. Is it? Yeah. You know, so. Okay. 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 It, this but, is it. Like, final, final well, choice. We get to do guess. one thing with it though. With the Funko Pop, we get to do one thing with it. We're not going to have a line of figurines. We get to do one thing it, with it. So it's going to be like a DSP vest thing or interview thing yeah. or whatever. The guy is already the complete package. It has everything yeah. in it and the packaging included. Yeah, okay. I'm swayed. I'm 100% swayed, but we kind of have to go to our the normal style host. Sam, please. Yep, I can, I'm easily swayed. <laughs> I <think> we, all <laughs> have, yeah. we had a, we we had a very deep conversation. Like Sir Moise would be disappointed in us. Right, we very deep Sir Moise is rolling right now. That's yeah. how all these talks about projects go, though. Yep. You just throw yeah. a bunch of ideas and you workshop them and you sway each other into what is the best thing. That's that's just fair, how it works. You know, the big argument we were making was was the possibility of this thing. But someone said it earlier in in the chat, and it, and it and it resonated with me. They said, you know, you're 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 trying to plan for some shit that may not and probably won't happen as opposed to just mm -hmm. making one cool thing and you know there's yeah. some there's some wisdom there i like that point N nasty nasty fripples <laughs> nasty fripples <laughs> thank you it feels like originality versus corporate and i that kind of hit me right right mm -hmm. i think we yeah. do want to be original here we do we are want to go as deep as possible in this crazy shit so i i'm i'm okay with saying the guys are a choice now it, uh, it, you uh, know what? The, the person who would eventually bid on it and buy it, it's going to be a dedicated viewer of whatever, like a detractor or whatever. So they're going to know all the, the, the lore that goes into the product. So just a simple Funko Pop is too like simple for somebody who is like actually into it, willing to spend money for it. You know? Yes. Okay. America makes a good point. I personally like the pencil sharpener, but I would be happy with the guy as well. And all the points that were made out there that it's original... It has a good amount of allure. It's very creative, so I kind of I, I, I lean to Darcy a little bit more. And maybe on that. that's the most maybe that's the most telling thing is the guy is the only one none of us have argued against, like like yeah. full throated argument against. Yeah, and just okay. Look, someone asked the question: Why does the guy have an axe? Like that's that's a positive. That's for me. a deep that, yeah. yeah, that's the, you, you know like yeah. some people don't in this watching our show now don't know what the axe is, but I bet half the out there do know what that axe exactly what that axe is, and I think that's kind of cool. And of course, we can still add little touches here and there. You know what I mean? Can we like, add accessories yeah. that make them question yeah. more of the lore? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. Uh, you know what? I'm fucking sold. I'm sold. Yes. It's, I'm it, sold. It's I'm the sold. guy, guys. I it's think the it's guy. the guy. Is, is that really him? Is the question I ask? Is that I really? I think him? that's him. <laughs> and you know what, chat? You know what? We actually listened to what you had to say. Yeah. Right. Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have what? I have no Good. personal Good. stake in this, so I can care less. But I I do agree the guy is pretty dope. Okay. I think all of them were great, to be honest. All of them were good, I mean, dude. Everyone's legendary submission. I, I would put a bid. I, I I'm actually if this is going to auction, I'm gonna actually be putting a bid. Okay. So, um. Yeah. <laughs> I would bid on any of the four. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not. Sorry. It's a hatchet. It's not an axe. Okay. Sorry. It's an axe. Okay. Anyway. 
What a show it's been. Duty Shreem's coming in hot. Darcy coming in hot. All the art submitted coming in hot. We have made a decision. It's going to be the guy, the genetically upgraded YouTuber, is going to be put in production right now. No promises on when it's going to be done. You know, we got a lot of moving parts there. We're going to work with you together and make it happen. What a show it's been. Duty, we know you're going to be on your streams. We're going to be pumping out the videos. Anything we can look forward to, maybe out of the ordinary stream coming out. What you got, Duty? Share. This, the floor is yours. Please don't uh, mention uh, ex-wives and search training orders. Please don't mention those. Go ahead. No, no, none of that. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. Just regular content. And I just want to thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys having me on, letting me speak. I uh, enjoyed uh, sharing uh, the 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 pod well, yeah the podcast with my friend Darcy you're amazing all you guys are great and thank you everybody in the chat for making me feel welcome I really appreciate it awesome stuff awesome stuff Darcy go ahead floor is yours I know you got a lot of work to do but go ahead uh, look thanks as always for having me it's always a lot of fun I'll come up with some excuse in the next couple of months to be back I'm sure uh, it seems to be the way I do things um, <laughs> if I can ever fucking find time to stream again I'd love to see everybody there but uh, this is awesome I just like I like coming and hanging out it feels like putting on an old glove at this point definitely 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 meerkat go ahead um yeah big ups everybody for watching and um sorry to duty if uh, my criticism segment was a little bit like too confrontational or something but we had to talk about this stuff i've talked to him about it he's a cool dude he understands stuff he's a grown-ass man so i think it's all yep. cool yep that, that's right yep and and he oh. my, my family is is safe so thank you <laughs> yes <laughs> all right steve go ahead final words my friend uh, I am editing. There, there will be a video coming out soon. I promise. Just turned into Sam a bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, that being said, next broadcast will be I'm Thursday. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> it's fine. I've accepted that being said, it. That being said, bro- <laughs> next broadcast Thursday with the group think, and we'll see you then. Samuel, send us home, please. Bye, everyone. Yes, thanks to all the, the both the guests. It was a fun show, and I will find out who actually won this in due course. <laughs> uh, come here. Yeah. Come here. What's up? Uh oh, Wolverine toy. See you, everyone. Burger. That being said, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. Recommend to a friend. And if they stay as your friends, without taking offense, we hope to see you again someday. Hey, did you know this song is from Mario? Yes, Derek, we know. Now go. I actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all. So it really doesn't matter if this this stream gets 100 likes or two. I don't think it affects it. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat. Big ups. I first saw you in Burger King You took two seats Cause that ass is way too big Had a boyfriend I realized But you told him lies With your raccoon eyes The door dash is here Wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Tevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Tevin
reality, like I tell you guys, every day when I wake up, that's the best day of my life. I feel like this next day is awesome. I, I, get, I have a, a beautiful wife who I love so much. She loves me and a family, and Jasper, and, and you know, the things we get to do together. And I definitely want more time with them and more family time. But I absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be. Seriously. All those years back then, you'd be like, it's a whirlwind of crap. It was me. And by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly all the time because I was so stressed out. I was I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, a decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that. You know, it was, oh, I hate my life. I hate, I hate who I am. So let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore. You know, like, I'm happy with who I am. Butter?